Okay, I think we are all good. Also, thank you for the horn straight off the back. They definitely woke me up. <laughs> Jeez. Also, oh my god, are we already... Heck, already hecking 50% to the next business meeting. Jesus. I have a feeling I might have put it... <laughs> put it just a little bit too low. Also, good morning, Fries. I hope you're having a good morning. Or, or whatever part of the day it is. Oh, dear. Right, right. We have got quite a bit of work to be doing today. Um, I've put... I've put stuff in the background for now that we're not going to be immediately working on which is the hoop itself and I did uh, make the pattern for heckin winged <laughs> thank you so much for the 100 bits straight off the bat as well that's very kind of you heck oh dear you are I'm glad and you I'm having a, a pretty okay morning I did forget to eat breakfast which is not ideal uh, so I might be getting a bit hungry <laughs> uh, basically I got into a big old conversation and then I forgot. <laughs> this is this is my problem. I'm very chatty. So if if I get into a big old chat first thing in the morning, I'm like, well, now I've forgotten. <laughs> so I might have to grab myself a snack because um, I don't want to be getting hungry. I can winged. I can winged. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. Oh, geez. Oh, dear. But yeah, so we got we got um we got the pattern that we dropped yesterday. Uh, we did it at a scale of, I think it's one to ten, so it was like divided by ten. This is the actual scale of the, the piece. These are going to be going around the outside of the hoop, so you won't see the hoop itself, it will just be for support. That is going to be what you'll actually see once we do it on fabric and we paint it and it looks all nice. Yes, 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 yes. You, chatty, that surprises me not. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't normally get into conversations first thing in the morning because otherwise I get stuck. <laughs> and so yes, this was one of those mornings where I got a little bit, a little bit stuck. But that's okay, that's okay. It's fine. It happens. It happens. That's good. It's fine. I like chatting. It was a lovely conversation. <laughs> I had a good old giggle. I had a good old giggle first thing in the morning. That, that's always nice. It just meant that I forgot to eat. <laughs> oh dear. Normally I like scurry away with food before I can get into any conversations so that I eat. Otherwise I'm just stuck. Oh dear, also Dope Zone, how are you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful morning. Thank you Dope Zone, and to you. Oh dear. I did manage to sneak myself a couple of biscuits, but I'll be honest. A couple of biscuits is not a breakfast, at least not for me. Um, I like, I like a big breakfast. Oh dear. We used to have a place near us that uh, sold breakfasts and there was literally a breakfast that was just called Big Breakfast. That was good. That was a good place. <laughs> they understood. They understood that you want a big breakfast and they were like, do you want to just buy Big Breakfast? Yeah, I do want to buy just Big Breakfast. Thank you very much. Also, Disney Man, how's it going? I hope you're having a good morning. And Shifty Blue, you've got a business meeting. Winged business meeting. Jesus Christ, this business meeting is going to be fulfilled today. <laughs> It took less than two streams. God damn it. Is what it's gonna be. Big breakfast. Yeah, I mean, also good morning. I hope you're having a good morning. But yeah, this is what I was saying. There's a, there was a place near us that was like, you want to have just big breakfast? And it was like, yeah, that's exactly what I want. I just want big breakfast first thing in the morning. Uh, and I think it was five quid and you got a cup of tea with it. And it was like basically just a full English for anyone who is not, is not someone who can get a full English easily. Full English is your standard, you get your baked beans, you get your bread, which I think can either be toast or fried bread. I think you got the choice. You get a fried egg, you get your bacon. Um, you can also have a vegetarian, so you could have uh, mushrooms and veggie sausage, or you can get your mushrooms and your normal uh, like meat sausage. You get your black pudding. Uh, I think you also had hash browns. Uh, and I think tomato, but some of those things would be swapped around depending on whether you had the vegetarian breakfast or if you had the the full English uh, not vegetarian. I, I normally got it vegetarian, not because I am vegetarian, but because if I had a full uh, full English with all of the meat that comes with it, because it is a lot of meat when you add it up. It's like you get your bacon, you got your uh, you get your black pudding, you got your sausage. Uh, it, it does add up as quite a bit of meat. Um, I, I get very, very, very bloated and I get like a lot of stomach pain. So it's it, for me, it's not the best way of starting the day. Um, but the veggie, I, li I like the rest of them. And the veggie sausage they did was deep fried. 
<laughs> that you know as much as like i know a lot of people don't like veggie sausage this was basically just like a load of vegetables that they put together with i think some like curry stuff in it and then they deep fried it so it was in the shape of a sausage but it was almost like the filling of a samosa deep fried it was pretty great <laughs> i'll be honest i'll take that over a veggie sausage any day it was pretty top your standard also toxic good so how you doing it's your standard but like five quid cup of tea it's a good big breakfast if you've got a big day of stuff to do and you can sit down for like i don't know 15 20 minutes and have it oh proper nice it's probably one of the things that i'd miss because like there's no way i'm making that inside my house that's like so much washing up and so many steps but if you can go somewhere else and have them make it for you oh that's nice that is nice don't need me all the time yeah and first thing in the morning i know some people that's like that's how you they want to wake up that's like what you want first thing in the morning that is not what i want first thing in the morning i i i would expire <laughs> that would be the end for me you i would not be able to get up and stream i would just be there like clawing at life and like honestly deep fried samosa filling is really good <laughs> I don't know how they managed to hold it together, but it was proper tasty. Oh man, really good. Also, Secretly Cosplay, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day. Welcome, we're just talking about food. <laughs> I go physically if I have too much in the morning. That's fair. I'm a very much a eat a lot first thing in the morning. I don't know, I wake up hungry. <laughs> uh, it's been an interesting day to say. A uh, day, my arms are killing me. Managed to fix my e-brake on my RV. Oh my god, on a hill. I may add, the worst place to break down with no brakes. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, Disney man. I'm glad you are safe. Um, yeah, that is not great, but congratulations on being able to fix your own brakes. My god, heck, that that's pretty impressive. At least by my books, pretty impressive. Cool, <laughs> nice job. Also, Sammy, greetings, Earthling. Greetings, Dragon. I hope you are having a good day. Wait, food can be had before evening? Yeah, I know a lot of people that really, that like, of course, if you are a skippy breakfast person, fair enough. You do you. Everyone has their own food rota. Um, I, I, I used to, when I was much younger, be someone who wouldn't always eat a lot for breakfast. But I don't know, I don't know when this changed. I want to say during university. <laughs> um, I can't do it anymore. I have to, I, I, I have to eat big <laughs> in the morning. Um, and maybe have like a smaller lunch, um, especially with streaming and like with my general work rota, because honestly my work rota and my stream rota are very similar, because um, I tend to eat lunch quite late in the afternoon, um, so I could, and then have a big dinner again because my lunch and dinner are quite close to each other. Uh, it's the same with work as well. Um, so that makes a bit more sense to me, but I need a really big breakfast because it's quite a long time till lunch. Oh. Uh, I usually even wait to eat till lunch or have a very light breakfast like some oats with milk and honey. That's That sounds pretty nice to be fair. Uh, and an apple. Fair. You have a concept of time during university. You know, that that's a fair point. That is a fair point. There's so much coursework. I feel like, yeah, it was just like constant work a lot of the time. Oh, uh, good evening. <laughs> Sorry, it's an art guy. How is it going? I hope you're having a good day. Hi, how is it going? And to be fair, this room is a constant state of this, which is quite nice in a lot of ways because it doesn't feel like it gets too dark, especially in the winter. But um, it's always about this. We don't have a uh, natural light in this room, so it's always about this. Uh, to be fair, it's probably better to have bigger meal in the morning and smaller meals in the afternoon and evening. Yeah, I go big morning, small lunch, big evening most of the time. Because sometimes, like sometimes like a Sunday lunch, maybe I'll have a big lunch, but like... No, normally normally it's the same every day the consistency i love it <laughs> you lose get breakfast otherwise i get tired again secrecy i i i yeah i think i think that's why i hear from a lot of people that have a small breakfast or they don't have breakfast it's where it's like they get sleepy from it whereas i'm the opposite if i skip breakfast i'm like my energy where it be <laughs> so if i have a break today it's because i'm getting a snack because i've not really eaten and i i need i need my foods Ah. <laughs> uh... I don't know what time it is for you. It's three. Th oh my god, three forty a.m. here. It is. We we normally start at about ten thirty in the morning, but it's ten forty in the morning right now. So yeah, we 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 in the morning. We in the morning here, but not that you can ever tell because it will always probably be about this brightness. The only time we change brightness is if I wear a very very like if I wear a completely black top, it suddenly becomes like the sun. <laughs> oh, 
about it. You have to learn vehicle maintenance when you've got a vintage car like me. Old cars are blooming gorgeous to look at but break down regularly. That's fair. That sounds very, very sensible. That sounds very sensible. Also, CSI, how's it going? I hope you've been a good day. Oh my God, are we calling the manager? Oh, that's something that I was going to do. And I didn't get the chance to, God damn it. What do they say? My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> nobody wanted that. <laughs> oh, since I'm going, hello. Right. It's that time I get some shout outs done and then we will get into the work. Let's do it. Okay, let me have a sip of tea real quick though. Ah, oh, same, I need breakfast to stay focused awake, even if a light breakfast, yeah, I need something to, yeah. That's why I had some biscuits right before stream because otherwise I would have been like not here. I'm gonna can eat in the morning. Again, these usually get ill from it. That's fat. I'm good uh, if I have my breakfast and coffee, my usual means meals, actually only dinner. But I'm trying to get more to the point where I eat lunch, afternoon tea, and then That's fair, that's fair. Oh, thank you for shouting out Sunkoi as well, I appreciate it. <laughs> you, <laughs> you in Australia. Oh, no. Shifty Blook. Oh, when the manager called, they said, I'd like to wear my other ears. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> What's wrong with my ears? Speaking of quotes, right. Not quotes. Shout out. Heck, I know what I'm talking about. Thank you for the horn. Doing well today, I spent all of yesterday sorting cassette tapes. That was experience without like all of the winding. Oh heck. Old fresh and thinking appetite's been gone. Oh, I'm sorry, fries. Yeah. I eat with moods and, and different depending on how you feel on the day. Maybe there will be some days where breakfast isn't gonna be it. It's not gonna be the thing. Oh dear. I hope, I hope, I hope that at some point maybe, maybe you'll wake up and you'll feel the hunger. The, the deep intense hunger. <laughs> For a, for a big old breakfast, and then you can experience a full English uh, breakfast. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like it's an ex without feeling ill. Without feeling ill. I mean, feeling full is fine, but you d we don't want people to feel ill after a full English breakfast. <laughs> right, speaking of shoutouts, we're, we're gonna do a few, uh, which if any of these uh, streams interest you, I highly recommend check them out because these are all wonderful streams. We wouldn't shout them out if we, we didn't, we wouldn't recommend them. So you have Winged Daedalus or Daedalus, Winged, winged, who does music for music streams in the evening, at least by my time. And they're very, very lovely, very relaxing. And it's always learning, which is lovely. Also, Grobbit, how's it going? Just winding, had a lot of them arrive and seeing what you got. Ooh, ooh, wait, CSI, that's very exciting. Heck, I never done that. That sounds really cool. Hey Jelly, what would you like? Lemon and honeycomb cheesecake or maple and salted bacon, a caramel bacon brownies. Okay, so I'm a sucker for lemon. Uh, I probably always will be a sucker for lemon. <laughs> Also, honeycomb, it's just something about honeycomb. It's very magical. <laughs> so Disney Man, I think, I always think that's pretty amazing. Don't get me wrong, maple bacon, I feel like is pretty damn cool. And I don't see it very often, but lemon and honeycomb, it just feels very light. Maybe because it's winter, that wouldn't be the best, but I just think that's really cool. When I cut out the abundance and unhealthy sugar and cook a warm dinner instead of just having bread all the time, I feel that bread is a lot. I actually had a full English because I'm one of those people who do eating challenges. Oh, okay, okay. It's translucent cheesecake. Translucent cheesecake? Whoa. Syrup cake for me. Honey lemon cone. Sounds so magical, right? Doesn't it? Right, I'm sorry. I will do these shout outs. Uh, another person. Oh, Mr. Sandman. Heck. Heck. Four months in a row. Jesus Christ. That's very kind of you. I hope you're having a good, a good day, Mr. Sandman. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you so much. That's very, very kind of you. Heck. Oh. Also, cake and pie is better than candy and crisps. Pie? I like more than all of them. But I do like crisps. And I get I get the cravings for the crisps. <laughs> okay, another person is CSI. Who does games? Also, does model making? Also, does carving? There's a little bit of everything there, but if you're interested in the creativity and also a mixture of games and creativity, there's another streamer there for you. Also, it's like really unique. I, I really like um, seeing model making, but also like carving, things like that. It's really, really cool. Really, really cool. Um, we also have. Oh dear. 
excuse me. I like to scroll to where I can see the name because otherwise I worry that I'm going to, even if it's like something that I, I'm pretty sure I can spell, I worry that I'm going to get it wrong. So excuse me if I'm just blaring all over the place. I don't want to misspell anyone's name. Uh, let's get a cake for the four months. Cake for four months. I was thinking I might bake a cake at some point soon because it's been a really long time, but I'm not a huge cake person myself. It's just, I feel like cake is not too difficult. <laughs> I make things and play dead game. Yee! Blueberry marzipan. I love marzipan. <laughs> marzipan, and then you get like marzipan sweets. I know a lot of people don't like them. I'm just like, okay, it's marzipan, marzipan, marzipan. You can write down the first few letters and then place tab. Dragoness, you are a gem. Yes, you can. Yes, you can do that. Okay, another person we have is Secretly Cosplay, who does Genshin. Oh, heck! I love Genshin. <laughs> Who does sec uh, so just secretly cosplay? Who makes cosplays on stream? So if you like watching cosplays on stream, and that's why you're here, there is another person who also makes cosplays on stream and does some gaming in between as well. So there, another person who also does cosplays, and they're a bit newer as well. So if you want to go support some new streamers, yes, check them out. Check them out. Moo! Good morning. Good morning, Moo. I hope you're having a good day. Wait, we're gonna we're gonna do do the. Can I go? And then go tap. <gasps> Dragon is Sammy, coming in with the advice. So if you're looking for someone who has got the best advice, but also makes plushies. So plushies is one of the more difficult things to make, in my opinion. In It's one of the things I struggle with, especially making patterns for plushies. Dragon is Sammy does this. They make plushies on stream. They also do a lot of other sewing and bits and bobs. So if you're looking, if you're looking for a makers and crafter who does a lot of very talented stuff, very intricate stuff as well, that you could literally watch, very, very useful, especially if maybe you're a maker and crafter yourself. Dragon Sammy. <laughs> oh dear. You can also do at insert name here. Oh, then it will auto fill. Jesus Christ, you guys. <laughs> you, you, you guys want to come here and just stream? Because obviously I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I've nearly been streaming a year and I'm just like, I have none of these tips and tricks. I'm over my head. And you know what's the worst is probably... People have told me this and it's just, I've forgotten. Oh God, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Also, I recently got my great grandma's recipe for Norwegian syrup cake and I'm excited to make it at some point. Oh, so I love syrup cake. Okay, this, this might, this, people might be angry at this and I'm sorry if you're angry at this, but I stand by it. Um, every now and again, I, I'm not really, believe it or not, I'm not a huge sweet tooth. I like having sweet snacks around the house. Because every now and again I want like one or two, but a lot of the time I more crave savory snacks, which is a pain because savory snacks, I'm, I feel like I'm more Moorish and then you eat more of them. But I'm like, I'm a savory snack person a lot of the time. But every now and again, I want like a sweet kick. And growing up, every now and again, I would really nag my parents and be like, can we have syrup sponge? I really like syrup sponge. And syrup sponge can be a bit of a pain to make. Uh, my parents would be like, ah. <laughs> like now, <laughs> like right now. <laughs> but there was like a microwave version you could make where you'd put all, like you put syrup at the bottom and you then put all the ingredients on top and you could put it in the microwave and then turn it upside down and it would be like a sponge. I haven't got the recipe, but oh my God, it was so quick and we didn't have it very often. <laughs> But I just remember it being like the most magical thing. And if I had it now, maybe I wouldn't think it was the most magical thing. But I just remember it being like a, it was like a five minute syrup sponge. And it was like a full cake. It came out like a full cake. It was not like a mug cake. You turn it upside down and it would sit on your plate like a full cake. It was like a cake. And oh my God, I, I, I just, I want it so badly. <laughs> Sometimes, like, this is not the time of day to have a, a five minute syrup sponge, but I want it so badly. Oh, you missed out during a moon. Sammy, bless you. I mod for another stream and it's very handy to order for instead of worrying about correct spelling. Oh, fries, I see, I see, yes. That that would explain. It's kind of uh, ironic considering you can tab for a moon stream. What, really? Heck. Oh, you misunderstand. The way syrup cake is like no other syrup cake. Okay, okay, I, I'm interested. My grave syrup sponge, I'm transported to my childhood. Oh, it was, I'm, I'm so glad other people had this as well, actually, because, oh, it's, I haven't had it since I lived at home. So it's been like at least, I want to say seven or eight years now. So it's been a very long time since I've had this. I don't know what it would taste like now because it's been so long. But, oh, oh, I just, I really, 
I really like it. It makes me so happy. And again, we really wouldn't have it very often, but I remember just, I would nag for it often because I'd be like, we don't, and they'd be like, okay, dinner's done. I'd be like, can, can we have a syrup sponge? <laughs> and they'd be like, no, no, we're not making a syrup sponge. I'd be like, but please, can, please, can we have a syrup sponge? Oh my God. And they'd be like, no, <laughs> stop, stop asking for a syrup sponge. Oh my God. But yeah, every now and again, they'd like, like, fine, fine, we can have a, we can have a five minute syrup sponge. And <laughs> I need to find out what goes into it, but it can't be that difficult because whatever it is, it just goes in the microwave of syrup at the bottom. You turn it upside down, it goes, oh, it was so nice. I just remember being like, yes, I'm sure it's mainly just sugar and that's why I loved it. Yeah. Can someone clip that and then show it, slow it down to two? Our oh, jelly is a bit hyper. It's the syrup that I'm thinking about. <laughs> I'm happy about the tangent I sent you down. It makes me really happy. CSI tab doesn't work for remote to me, but uh, starting with that does. Oh, okay. Immediately messages mum for recipe. I'll wait till the stream is over and then my mum's gonna be like, why? why now? Do you care about the five minutes? I have all of these recipes. Why do you only care about the syrup sponge? <laughs> My great grandmother's recipe is a total of seven ingredients. Wait, that's not that bad. Fries, that's not that bad. Oh my god. Maybe it's a better. Um, yeah, it could also be that, to be fair. Could be, I don't have. I, I do, so maybe it would work for me. Oh, okay. I don't so long, I forgot what it is. That's the other thing. If we have extensions and not extensions. Oh, oh, all of the things. Why the microwave, though? That's really putting me off. I know. That's why I was like, I don't want to put people off. It does go in the microwave, but. Oh, I'll see if I can make it at some point and then I'll take a picture of it. It do be looking like a cake. It doesn't, it, it looks like cake. It doesn't look like a mug cake. That's what I want to get away from is like, it's not like a mug cake. It's like a, it's a sponge. It comes out like a cake sponge, uh, like a sponge cake. Um, it's, it was, it, yeah, it was cool. It was really cool. Um, I think the microwave was just for speed because you put it in there for like five minutes, turn it upside down. It's like cake. I don't, I don't know the science. It just did. Um, yeah. <laughs> so like after a dinner, every now and again, if I bugged my parents, they would make it. <laughs> um, so I guess it was just very, very quick. Cause if you're making it the, like the, I guess more traditional route, you'd have to bake it in the oven for quite a while, I suppose. It would take longer than five minutes, <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say. It would take longer than five minutes. But if you do it in the microwave, it's very quick. <laughs> Now, is it the same quality? Probably not, but as a child, you wouldn't care. With the batter and the syrup, water, flour and butter for batter, syrup, cream, sugar and card- Ooh, cardamom for the syrupy stuff. The whole pain is to cook it all. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, that makes sense. That would be the more, the more painful part. Sorry, I've gone on like a nearly half an hour tangent now of talking about food. It's, it's nothing new for this channel, but like, oh, man. Syrup sponge. I'll, I'll see if I make one and then I, I'm not going to bring it up here because it's messy. I, I, like one of the more messy foods is syrup and this is a crafting area, but I'll take a picture. Food is great and important though. This is true. Food is great and important, especially five minute syrup sponge. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, it was good. It was really good. And yeah, it was like, it was like part of my childhood, weirdly enough. Now that Sunquay has said that, it's like, it kind of was just be part of my childhood. Um, I, I don't know. We just, it just kind of be part of it. Um, because I, it's not like it's something that I've made since then. <laughs> There's a lot of recipes that I did I did take from my parents and I have continued to make. I, I just didn't think to take that one. <laughs> also, Blocker, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day. Right. I said at the beginning we had a lot to do. We do, in fact, have a lot to do. Shall I, shall I maybe start doing that? <laughs> Oh, we're zoomed in. This is too close. Look how big my hand is. <laughs> wow. Okay, let me unzoom real quick. It's too big. We need to go smaller. There we go. <laughs> we're too big. We're too big. People that eat food have a 100% mortality rate though. Oh my god. Not convinced. Did somebody do a poll for a carnivorous microwave? <laughs> no. No. Who cares? I'm not. <laughs> no. Oh no, carnivorous microwave sponge cake. I see. Sorry, I didn't read the whole thing. I just thought it was, God damn it, everyone. <laughs> Can you see my one vote in there for no? <laughs> oh, 
Oh dear. Look, you're good. How is Jelly? I'm good, thank you. Blocker giant jelly hand. Yeah. My hands are not that big, I swear. <laughs> they are this size. Yes, yes. We were zoomed in yesterday because we were doing a uh, drawing. Yes. The drawing, the drawing zoom. But um, no, we did not need to be that zoomed. <laughs> it is too zoomed. Oh dear. Right. Okay. Things to do. People to see. Wee. Well, we can actually do stuff off the bat today because <laughs> we did a lot of work yesterday. We cut all of these into strips. They now need to be zigzagged. Heckin' zigzagged. So they need to be zigzagged up each side. That's basically to stop it from fraying. And then we'll start cutting them into the correct size strips. Yes, now it looks more accurate time, Jenny. <laughs> they're not that small. They're, they're not that small. I, I do have small, I wanna say, comparatively to a lot of the people that I know, I don't think I've met very many people with smaller hands than me. I don't, it's, it's kind of annoying actually, that's one of the few things. Because, okay, again, because I am technically above average height, it is kind of annoying to me that my hands, well they're not even that small, my, my fingers I feel like are always kind of short. I always feel like my fingers are short. And it's like, why? Why? Um, it used to annoy me, it doesn't annoy me so much anymore, because because um mainly it annoyed me because i did like classical guitar and stuff and so i had like really short fingers who cares om nom nom <laughs> this is this, this is the correct answer if it's for the pie or uh, the, the cake even but i thought it was for the microwave <laughs> i thought we were eating the microwave <laughs> you've huge hands which is annoying see i would prefer to have i don't mind this part so much but longer fingers uh, for, you know, holding things and stretching between, um, like, frets on a guitar, stuff like that. It just seems pointless to have short fingers. I don't know. What can I do? I can't reach for things that are a long way away. Also, Okafa, how you, how's it going? How's it going? I hope you have a good day. Heck yeah. I have tiny hands with sausage fingers. I feel this. My, my fingers are not too bad. I have big, big old webs. I feel like frog. <laughs> uh, you basically sear the batter. Oh, in a large. Wait, well, you sear the batter in a large electric pan, usually about 56 centimeters in diameter. Wait, you sear the batter. The batter should be completely round in shape. You fold the batter into the center. You ideally want it to be batter syrup mix and then. Oh, cut it into squares and store in the freezer. That sounds delicious. Yo, yo, yo. How's it going? Oh my god, nice stream. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day. You EMD, I always called you EDM. Not it. EMD! It's quite good eating while it's still frozen with a nice hot cup of coffee. That sounds really good, actually. That sounds like something you'd eat in a fancy place. Nice music, thank you. It is, in fact, not what I was gonna say. I can't remember. <laughs> I, I know what the station is. It's Pretzel Rocks, and they're giving us Electro Swing. I was gonna say Steampunk, that's not correct. Oh dear. Also, Tim, thank you for the follow. Um, I like the music, thank you. Oh dear. Hey, how's it going, Nevi Vito? Oh dear. I eat my dick. <laughs> I? I'm just uh, understanding train station, nice. Five out of five on wiki hands. Really? You'd give me five out of five? Heck yeah. Oh dear, wait. EDM, <laughs> thank you for the follow as well. I think I might game while watching your stream. Oh, you're bored. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, dear. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Oh, dear. And you love my hair. Thank you, Tim. That's very kind of you. It is fruit salad. We fruit salad. Oh, dear. Oh, turn on some M&M. Can't do it. It's, uh... <laughs> I can never remember the white word. DMCA. Some entertainment stream, thank you. Oh dear. Also, Aquafel, thank you for the follow. Jesus Christ, you all followed me suddenly, thank you. Ah. Oh. No, I think I kind of understand what's happening. I think, I think I get this. Sorry, would you mind keeping the chat in English? I think, I think I understand what's happened. Yeah. I, I think I get what just happened. Uh, I, I've heard about this before, um, I, although, yeah, yeah, so 
Uh, it doesn't happen super frequently on this stream, um, but it does happen every now and again. I caught the last one. Um, so um, it's people find you all at once and then they go into your rules and then they basically they break all of the rules or they do stuff that would be offensive and they'll all follow you and suddenly and do the stuff that would break your rules on the channel. So you kind of just have to go through and ban them all, unfortunately. It's kind of a weird one. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of a it's kind of an unfortunate one because like I think a lot of the time as well, like you can just look at their account and be like, oh yeah, it was made today. So um yes, these are being trolled. Yeah. Once you show the hands, things come out. Yeah, it's, I've got great hands, clearly. It's the webs. <laughs> oh dear. It's fine. It's just <coughs> A bit difficult to, um, I'll see Christina's level, thank you for the follow, it's very kind of you. It's a bit difficult to keep track of when you're, you're sewing. Jesus Christ, we need a priest to watch this stream. Oh, hey, I'll take your trolls over mine. <laughs> oh dear, yeah, I mean, the thing is, it's not actually offensive in the fact that I'm not upset. Also, hi, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day. This is not just chatting, how is this a thing here? It, it's, um, I, it's still, I think it's just chatting gets it a lot worse. That's why just chatting is one of the scariest, I think, always the scariest categories. People, they're brave. They brave streamers. <laughs> You've got this. Um, but it does happen everywhere, unfortunately. There are definitely, I think, categories that get it worse, unfortunately. Uh, let me send my previous message again. Yeah, sorry. Any, anything that I lost in that, apologies. I was kind of just trying to make sure nothing exceptionally offensive got posted. Of course, we do have words that are banned, but we, it's best always to make sure. Because while I might not be getting offended, I don't want anything to slip through that could really upset someone. Yeah. Oh, dear. It's not very fancy, to be honest. It's only made in a certain part of Norway, and it's a packet, like, 10 sheets, cost, like, 30 quid. I mean, that sounds pretty damn good still, though. And like you said, having it with a nice coffee, that sounds perfect. You're doing good. I am glad. Love watching fellow cosplays. Oh, wait, Christina, you do cosplay, too? Heck, yeah. Oh, no, it's always nice to meet a fellow cosplayer. We love cosplay. I only get the occasional transfer. Yeah, I was going to say, like, anything like that, any, any, any sort of transphobia racism that's kind of what we're on the lookout for when you get groups like that come in because <laughs> of course we have certain words that will trigger nightbot to automatically time out and then we can ban but there's always the concern because people replace things with numbers and stuff like that so that it will filter through because which is pretty good but it, it can you know pe people are also very i don't want to say clever because it's not clever but you know they're good at getting around it so it unfortunately diverts my attention a bit. Oh, hey Jelly, it's fine. I don't mind. Don't worry about it. I'd be a mod man myself, so I fully understand. Yes. Right, what we're doing here, um, again, you won't really see this, and I'm just taking other hoop skirts that I've had as kind of like a guide. I'm just doing a zigzag up both sides. I just don't want it to, I just don't want it to be uh, messing all over the place. And then we'll be doing a gather up one, but only once we've got it to the length we want. And I have my book to tell me the lengths that I want it, fortunately. So what this will do is just stop it being like war all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> fortunately, there is not very much that these people could say that would probably upset me. <laughs> I just don't want anyone in chat to get upset on my behalf or obviously get upset because, uh, you know, they said something that's actually very offensive. Uh, they give it a good try though, I will say that. We've had a lot of people give it a damn good try to upset me. It's just, you know. <laughs> I'm kind of, um, despite despite my, uh, what do we call it? More, more, what would you, I don't know what you'd call it, more chill appearance. That's. <laughs> uh, strangers aren't gonna get me, I'm afraid. <laughs> Yeah, I'll send you some if I could. Of the, of the syrup cake, not of the trolls. Please don't send me the trolls. I don't want them. You can keep them. Yeah, but what, I mean, honestly though, like, if you ever want to put recipes in Discord, more, more than up for looking at them. 
sometimes it's a little difficult to get certain ingredients, but this sounds like it's pretty much like I could get all of that. I, I, I think I could get all of that. The annoying one to get is maple syrup. Uh, I can get it, but I always have to order it. Uh, unless, of course, I have family that can deliver it, which is not, is not, not the world we have right now. But I love maple syrup. Maple syrup is delicious. It's just a little difficult to get in this country. I could probably upset you, but only do so because you know I wouldn't. Yeah, exactly. That's a thing. Like, I wouldn't expect it from you because you're a sweet bean. Only trolls I send are the skulls of my victims from Modman, but no. The skulls. Oh. Right. This should be, if everything has gone well, about, well, I say about, exactly one and a half meters. Uh, and they all should be one and a half meters. So, with that being the case, and all of these being one and a half meters, um, we can kind of work this out because we've round a lot of them. So like a lot of them are 50 centimeters and then one and a half meters, two meters, two and a half meters. So it's quite easy, to, quite easy to get them into the right, the right legs that we need. <laughs> so I do have a somewhere probably on the floor but a strong tape measure there it is it is on the floor this is not what you don't call it a strong tape measure i'm sure but um yeah i can measure hard tape measure what what do you call this hard tape measure <laughs> that i can measure 50 centimeters and cut that and that'd be the first one I also found my big scissors yesterday, so I can actually use them. <laughs> there you go. I collect them and use their skulls for mugs, because they mug- Oh, mug you right off. No! It only measures strong tape. Yes. Only is a strong tape. I don't know what you call this. Uh, I'm sure it has a name, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. So it is now just being called strong tape measure. <laughs> and... I think it's about here, I think. And just do like that. And then what we have is this will be one meter and that'd be 50 centimeters. And yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Strong, <laughs> absolutely strong. Call it Bob. We can't call it Bob. <laughs> My laptop is called Bob. There'd be too many Bobs. I'd be lost. I'd be lost in the Bobs. And then I'm going to just do the one to show you, uh, but I will actually do <laughs> most of these at once and then go back and do all of these individually uh, later because otherwise it will be a little confusing and I'll get lost. But then what we will do is do a stitch that will gather this and we'll do this up one side. So this will be a gathering stitch, so we're doing a nice long stitch. As you can see, this uses a lot of white thread. <laughs> That's why I got a thousand meters again, because I was just like, I know there's not a lot of white on this outfit, but uh, the white that I am using is just so much, just so much every time. Oh dear, stronger than strong. Good morning, Jelly, good morning, Jelly fans. Good morning, Robbie, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day. Right, and then what we do is we bring back tape measure. And we want this to be to the length of 25. So it's a little bit longer than 25. And we gather. I could have done two, but I'm only gonna do one because these aren't super long as they are. So just the one I think will be fine. And we pull the top. And keep pulling this along. Do, 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 do. Oh Jesus, that's a horn! Heckin' horns! I need to know how I'm gonna have so much energy in the morning! I, I always have a lot more energy in the morning than I do as the day goes on. Um, in, in the evening, I am pretty low energy, comparatively, I would say. Like, if, if I was to try streaming in the evening, I'd be like, Hi guys, how's it going? 
welcome to my stream. It's so lovely to be able to sew in front of you all. I love sewing. <laughs> and that'd be like my sewing, like my energy level. <laughs> it would be, it would be very, very low. <laughs> also, welcome back, Stealth. How's it going? Uh, hi back. I'm Fry as nice. Oh god. No, I'm not reading that. No, no, no. Yeah, I'd be I'd be very very low energy if I was uh, streaming streaming in the evening because I really struggle to uh, I don't know have as much energy as I do. Okay, so this this side is not going. I have to do it all from this side. <laughs> oh dear, you already did no views. Nice to meet you too, Rose. Oh god damn it, <laughs> oozing with dadness. God damn it. And... We're getting there. I would normally probably pull it from both sides, but for some reason one side has just got a little bit caught. And since this is such a short one, it's not really an issue anyway, so... You can pull it from just the one side. In the case of this particular one. I might just tie off the other end though, so that uh, it doesn't, <laughs> I don't ruin all my hard work in just a minute. Okay. There we go. Oh, <laughs> a segue, a segue, oh no. Also more tea, I will, I will, I will. Just give me, give me two minutes and I will drink more tea. I'm distracted right now. <laughs> I can have more tea, but I, mu I must, I must ruffle right now. Okay, so it needs to be just a little shorter. Just get it to the very base. Again, we just want it to be a little shorter than this. Oh my god! Oh, cool, Marcel. Thank you for the follow. It's very kind of you. Welcome. We are, in fact, creating gathers. Creating gathers. What are we working on today? So, on the hoop skirt, we have lots of uh, what would you call it? Lots of boning channels which run down it. There's actually twelve in total, and they create the hoops that go around it that give it the shape that I wanted. And that's for the doppel that is just here. The top piece to give it that shape that I want but because they are quite stiff boning that goes through it um, what happens is it creates very dynamic layers basically it becomes ridges almost on the, the hoop which means that if I was to lay fabric straight over the top of it it would also lie very much on those layers and become quite lumpy so what you can do to stop that happening is put ruffles over the top of that and it will stop them from being quite so intense. It will they, they will lie a little bit more naturally. So yeah, I'm creating those ruffles that will be going um, in between those uh, pieces of boning that we've already put in. And yeah, that's, that's what today is. I've already cut a lot of the strips, so it's basically getting them to the correct length, which is this first one needs to be, I've got it in my book actually. It needs to be twenty-five. Should probably have that on here to be honest. A lot of math. I'm a lot of math. go that's 25 which means I can take these two pieces and tie them up because this should hopefully cover everything that we just did on the hoop oh I made that a bit bigger there no oh well that's okay everything on the hoop skirt that's 
a bit lumpy <laughs> in a nice ruffle so that when the fabric goes over the top of it this will cover it I'm gonna cut the extra thread as well uh, because that will just start to knot over time and we don't want that <laughs> So this will go around loop and just create like a nice, nice barrier, nice barrier. <laughs> you get the feeling this is going to be 90% ruffles. Oh my God, so many. I think it's like that with any, like doing any sort of underskirt, any petticoat. And I'm trying to get those out of the way so early because the petticoat is finished. It's now uh, in the corner. It's now over there. Uh, the hoop skirt. Have you seen the hoop skirt, Secrety? Do you want to see the hoop skirt? I can show it you. Uh, it's not sewn up at the back because we still need to add all of these in but we did that over the weekend uh, off stream because it was too big to have in the stream setup um it's it's a lot <laughs> there's a lot of petticoats a lot of underskirts my god they still make ruffle chips yes they do make ruffle chips also hi zero how's it going oh my god we had we've got a lot but yeah it's it's all important ruffles i haven't seen the hoop skirt yet let me show Give me two seconds. I have to kind of stand up because it's big. <laughs> That's the bottom. <laughs> it's not sewn up at the back, so please excuse the fact that it's warping shape a lot. <laughs> oh, it will probably warp a lot until... Oh wait, what size is it? This is... This is the top. There we go. It's gonna warp a lot until until um <laughs> until it's sewn up at the back. So it goes in at the bottom like a pear, and then it's nice and tall at the top for where the head shape is. There's 12 layers, 105 panels. It's intense. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm actually gonna bring it over because Ooh. oh, there we go. Yeah, you can some right now. Heck yeah, it's going alright. Been a pretty busy day, but in a good way. That is good to hear. Also, more, more for the heckin' business meeting. Also, there is a hydrate. I didn't forget, I swear. <laughs> right. This bit here will actually go right around the top. So, <laughs> once this is done, it's going to be going right around that top panel. So that will actually cover that first, the first little lump. So, like that. <laughs> So you see that lump there? That's to cover that one. I'll probably go just a little bit lower because of the seam allowance. So if I was say pinning it on, it would be, yeah, just a little lower. <laughs> oh dear. This gigantic is big. It's very big. It, it's cause the, the doppel is gonna end up being about the same size as me. So it's like creating a whole nother person out of hoops. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. That was very kind of you. Oh, dear. I'm just going to do this in this camera because it's... you're not going to be able to see it finished in the other camera anyway. That's the issue with the hoop skirt. It is just, it is outrageously large and there's just, there's no point. <laughs> uh... So make sure it goes to both ends and then pin it the whole way around. And get it on this side, right? And yeah, so the reason I'm giving it seam allowance at the top is because it's going to have to it's going to have to sew into a little black loop at the top, which will be difficult if it's got like a thousand ruffles in it. There we go. Well, that's not a very good pin. No, 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 not on that one. Let's see, I think put one in here, maybe one more. <laughs> that should do it. <laughs> yes, that'll do, right. That's what it'll do. And that will fall then, when lying flat with something over the top of it, over the top of this piece of yeah, so go over that, which will make that a much smoother kind of going into the next one, which will then start here. It'll just be like one, 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 one. 
Uh, the whole way down, basically. Lots and lots of these. Oh, also, good morning, Tom. I hope you're having a good morning. Like a pair became embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Is it, yeah, it's, that's kind of like what it is. Oh. Posh pair. Ah. Oh. Yeah, this will go the whole way down. Helps cover up those pieces of boning, make them look a little bit more subtle. It's it's kind of annoying because nobody will actually see any of this work. <laughs> so you do all of this work and nobody sees it. But um, it's important work to do nonetheless. Uh, yes, having a very good morning just after a new job contract. Just got, heck yeah. Congratulations. Oh my God. That's amazing. Nice. Big congrats. I, I hope that it's really good. And that it's like you're really happy about. I think there should be something you're really happy about. Right, we're gonna put this away, and we are just gonna do a zigzag on all of them now because otherwise I'm gonna be I'm gonna be wasting quite a bit of time, and I'm not I'm not looking to do that. Not today. <laughs> yeah, big congrats. I just need to put my legs under the desk. <laughs> I can't keep sitting on them. I want to be doing the sewing. Um, this. Uh, so let's go to number six. There we are. Ah, uh, thank you. I've been wait, uh, waiting ages for it. I can now build a few things to get started on. Heck yeah! Nice, 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 nice. Ah oh dear. I see tasty numbers in the corner. Would you like to see my numbers? Oh, I changed it. Uh, these are my numbers, in case you're interested. It's number six for zigzag. I put it on a wider zigzag setting, not the widest, but wider zigzag setting. So I put it on number five. And then uh, stitch length is three, so just a little bit longer than usual. Yeah, those are my numbers. In case anyone was interested in the tasty numbers, those are the numbers. <laughs> uh, yeah. I do also have Skittles in my desk. Speaking of tasty, uh, I got them over the weekend uh, when I was doing a lot of the hoop skirt work. Shiny bought me some Skittles. I guess I was working a lot. And because I've continued to work a lot, I haven't finished the Skittles. <laughs> They're just in my desk. I could eat some of the Skittles, to be fair. It's just, Skittles is a weird snack for me because I really don't eat them very quickly. Uh, like, I could potentially eat some of the Skittles. Yeah, we all made, we all made this, like, snack in the desk. Like, oh, let's go something else. Desk Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> in my desk cubby. <laughs> How have things been for you this past week, Jelly? Pretty pretty good. I would say last week I was pretty uninspired. I don't know what, I think it was to do with it, like, partly being allergic to the petticoat <laughs> probably didn't help. Um, so like my eyes hurt for quite a lot. And I think also because it, it kind of was a bit sad to have made something and not be able to see it. Because that's kind of like the best part of finishing part of the project, right? Is like being able to see it on the mannequin and such. And that was a bit sad. But over the weekend, um, being able to, to make the petticoat, I feel like a lot better about it. So this week I've gone into it feeling a lot more positive. I hope that didn't like show up on stream too much. Because at the end of the day, it was like nothing to do with streaming as much as I think it was to do more with the fact that like, I don't know, like I couldn't see my work. But I definitely feel a lot better going into this week now that I can, I can see the progress that I'm making. It's such a little thing, such a small, tiny thing, but not being able to see the progress that I've made was just like, uh, I want to see it. <laughs> oh dear, just finished leftover Rocky Road chocolate you had. That sounds, that sounds pretty damn nice. That sounds like a pretty damn nice snack, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh dear. Heck yeah, heck yeah. I made a, oh, you made my kitty a pillow with some leftover ultra soft fur. And she's been needing it ever since. Drag it, drag it, that sounds adorable. <laughs> did washing that tool fix the allergy issue? It did, yes. So I have been able to have it in the room now. Um, I think it's still like a little bit iffy, but it's a lot better than it was. So I'm not gonna like rub my face in it or anything like that, but I can wear it absolutely fine. I can have it in the room absolutely fine. So it's like, it's a lot better than it was. Um, so we washed it and then also aired it for a while. Thank you for the horn blocker. 
yeah, we washed it and then aired it, and that seems to have fixed uh, whatever whatever issue I was having. That that's done it. That that's fixed it. <laughs> Which thank 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 you so much. Um, because yeah, that was that was that was annoying. Good luck, Lusty. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah oh, dear. From the Pets and Animals Discord, heck yeah! I will have a look after, after the, after the stream. Yes. What? What just happened? I think my chat just refreshed. You all just disappeared. Oh no, where are you guys? Oh no! Oh no, it's fine. I can see you all again. Okay, cool. I was like, wait, guys, where is you? Oh dear, I feel, I feel like your manager is eyeing the Skittles. <laughs> they just, they're like, mm. <laughs> the Skittles. Oh dear, we're just invisible. You were invisible for just a moment. It was like, wait, where'd you all go? Dylan says my disappointment is the my days ruined. God damn it, again. No love in this spell, duration one round. Oh. It was long enough for me, I was like, where you all go? Guys, come back. <laughs> I miss you. Oh. Dear. Fortunately, you did come back. That's happened a few times. I'm not exactly sure what it is that, that, that causes it, but fortunately, you do come back. Looks brilliant. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Why is Chairman Poser judging the whale shark? That's true, actually. Maybe it's because whale shark is so happy, so they're just like, yeah. Look at this happy old shark. How dare they? In my office, there is no happiness in this office. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh dear. No happiness here. <laughs> so Robbie, I'm more wondering why the dummy has done. So the managers turned their back to it. <laughs> well, the, the dummy, uh, so Mannequin also ran for a uh, chairman. So, uh, my chair, the, 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 the mannequin, and uh, chairman all ran for chairman. So maybe that's why they won't look at the mannequin, because they ran for chairman, so they were like in opposition to each other. Maybe they just haven't got over the fact that they both were running against each other. The feud. If you ever need to convince your DM that invisibility can fool other characters, just show them that clip. <laughs> like, where have you gone? Come back. <laughs> Thinking able to come back to stream a little time, this is what I see. Are you all lovely people? Oh, Little Messenger, how's it going? Anyone who doesn't know Little Messenger, they are a very, very sweet bean streamer. And they deserve all of the love in the world. Definitely check them out. Oh, dear. And they were doing Planet Zoo with the animals. <laughs> Is that why the mannequin is beheaded? Mannequin never had a head. My mannequin never had a head. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, mannequin can't keep a head off her shoulders and chairman is shooting them like bad. Yeah. They always tell you where the word mannequin is from? No, you have not. Oh, dear. Oh, thank you. Yeah. We fruit salad. So we have a uh, half pink. It is normally like this side is normally like a neon yellow, but it always fades to blonde. So normally we would be more fruit salad, but at the moment we're like a mild fruit salad we're not like toxic ways we're just uh, a mild fruit salad <laughs> mannequin was a french monarch in a past life were they oh my god i'm surprised they didn't get chairman then how did chairman get chairman over a french monarch that's a twist that's a heckin twist i feel like i feel like mannequin might have been more uh more qualified. Uh, neon via a yellow fades so quickly every time. Yeah, I mean, again, like it fades to yellow, so the effect is still there. But like, it's it's a shame. It is a shame. Mannequin is actually from the Dutch Flemish mannequin, which means little man, and that's because in the past clothes were mod oh, modeled by boys. Oh. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty damn cool. I like that. Huh. Huh. Okay. Nice. Nice. <laughs> In 
Interesting. Interesting. Oh, the Celtic Blue, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day. Oh, man, a cunt. Sorry, sorry, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> That's so interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Heck, information. A learning is done. Also, my foot is getting really far away. I keep, I keep pressing it down too hard because I want to go on the full speed, but um, my foot is just inching further and further away from me. I'm like, please, come back. I need, I need to do the zigzag. Please, no, no escape. Not that you can see it. Maybe you can see me doing this slowly, but like, it's because my foot is getting further away. Ah, uh, yes, the mention of Flemish got my attention. <laughs> like, Flemish, yes. I, I know this. Oh. Oh. See, my stomach is really being like, right now, like, you didn't eat breakfast, excuse you. You have a big breakfast normally. Where was that breakfast that you normally have? And I was like, I'm sorry, I was chatting. I got into an interesting conversation and I couldn't leave. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I'll have a big lunch, just quiet down. I got things to do. Oh also, it probably didn't help that we were talking about syrup sponge and I get to think about syrup sponge, but I like syrup sponge a lot. Uh, those few words deriving from Dutch like white rhinos aren't actually white, it's Dutch South. Okay, South African. Oh, wait, white's neutral <laughs> meaning white rhino because they were distinguished by their wide mouth. Oh, okay. Yup, I know the feeling. Oh, yeah, in German they're called wide mouth rhino. Oh, linguistic linguistics is amazing. I didn't know that one either. Heck. Well, that's pretty cool. With this one, I am just um, sewing two lengths, and then I'm going to be sewing two of these together because I actually need two meters for the next one. We have 100, 150, and then we need two meters. So these steadily get longer and longer. Now, I know that we probably don't have the right amount today, uh, but I have ordered some more because we need quite a lot of this. And do not panic if we do not have the right amount today. There should be some more by the next stream that we do on this. It'll be fine. We will be okay. A plan has been made. Yay. Uh, I ran out of bobbin. Where the hell? Okay, fine. It's only just, only just. Bunch of nerds in here. Heck yeah. That's great. Coleslaw is also a Dutch word. Coleslaw is a Dutch word? Cool. I am master degree in linguistic culture and language. I'm a certified nerd. Heck yeah. Nerds cool people. Yeah. I'm Belgian so I'm supposed to be good at languages. <laughs> Even if on the inside of the world. How's it going people? How's it going gone? I'm having a good day. I might eat some skittles in a minute. <laughs> but I'm not having a good day. It's really cool. It is. I'm having flashbacks to my adoptions in linguistics class. Oh no. Bellies for the ween! Hey, it's gonna be nice to see you! Heck yeah! Look, look at all these cosplayers! Look at them all! Look at them all! <laughs> oh dear. Don't you guys learn like three to four languages given the proximity? Also, this is Kant! Hi! How is it going? Heck! Oh my god! Also, <laughs> Boopy and Kaz, how's it going? And Rug? Oh my god! I need to shout you out. I'm so sorry. I'll, 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 apologies. I might miss the chat for a second. Oh dear. Hi Raiders. How's it going? I hope you're having a good day. Oh, there we go. We got you. What are you up to? Oh, makers and crafting. Nice. What, what were you making? I'm discovering knitting. Hi. How's it going? I hope you're having a good day. We are currently, um, I'll show you my hoop skirt quickly. We are in the process of making a big old hoop skirt for this cosplay. Uh, it's a bit of an intense one. <laughs> Oh, no, that is the cosplay in the corner. It's just small. This is the cosplay. So it's uh, Toko Satomi, but I'm doing her doppel, which is the part above me as well. So I'm making it like a puppet. <laughs> so it's going to be sitting above me. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Was knitting hats? Oh, that sounds pretty nice. I do love a bit of knitting. I'm, I'm like, hats is about my limit. I can't do too much more than that. But, oh, lovely. Sleepy, so I'm gonna have to go have a lovely crafting thing. Thank you, Boopy. Take care. 
just started doing morning craft streams as well as evening gaming streams. Lovely. Oh, and Rag, thank you. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time with it. We've, we've done a lot of the stuff that I can wear and we just started doing more of the pocket because we finished the harness. So this is the hoop skirt for the doppel. It goes in at the bottom. It's very much pear shaped. So right now we're making the frills kind of like gathers that will be going over each of the hoops because I don't know if you can kind of see, but they create ridges where they sit on the hoop. So you want to put like a ruffle over the top of those ridges. Otherwise, when you put fabric over the top of them, it'll be like all over the place. So we're creating those ruffles now. But this is the shape. It's pretty good. I like it a lot. It's not sewn up at the back yet, but that's the hoop. Oh dear. Oh, thank you. Just started doing one. Oh, sorry, man, I read that one. Love you, boobie. Ah, welcome to the chill side of the sea. <laughs> There's more towards the real jelly. I, I wish. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, so damn, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day. Uh, you were that good at it? I just remember the one exam was a nightmare. Oh, God. I, I, yeah. Language is one of my worst. I used to be in the evenings. I wanted to find a good fit into crafting too. Morning seems good. I always do morning crafting. So um, yeah, mornings is always the best for me <laughs> because near the end of the day, I'm like, uh, it's gone all pear shaped. It has in fact, holy hell, that's a complex cosplay. It's it's one of the most complex ones I've done to date. <laughs> oh, thank you. Sleep, all of the sleep. I had good teaching and workout with them. I'm so proud they grew a lot with it. Body be buffered and slim. Nice, I'm glad gone. Heck yeah, I'm glad it's going well for you. Oh, I will. Yes, or at least started being better once I moved to a more interesting part. So yeah, linguistics. Heck. Oh. Yeah, language always scares me a little bit. Like, I, I, I'm just English as well. Every, every language scares me. I, I want to be better at language. Um, and the English language too, which is my, my native language. But my, my mouth says whatever the heck it wants, which is a lot of the time not the word that I want to say. <laughs> Oh, so Nate, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day. How will you keep the puppet up? I can show you my harness if you like. We actually finished it. Well, we did most of it last week and then I finished it off on Saturday. Um, so we have the harness done. I'm not gonna put it on because I'm not wearing the right kind of jumper. I'm not gonna wear a jumper underneath my harness. But um, we have a harness finished. Um, sorry, I'm just, I'm just threading up the bobbin, excuse me. We had a bobbin betrayal right before you guys arrived, so my bobbin gave out on me. <laughs> there we go. Uh, glad to read another UK streamer. Oh, wait, you also from the UK. Nice. Uh, we'll open up a lot of opportunities for you. I mean, even if it, even if nothing happens with this, I, I, I still have a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, we have it over here. So bear in mind, I don't have any of the extra pipes in it right now because I've just been taking some photos of the base and getting some weights and stuff like this. Excuse me. So it's very much the the just just the harness on its own without any of the extra pieces but this is the harness so I, oh, it's a shame because unfortunately with this piece on now i can't actually show you what goes on in here but i can tell you um so it's perforated metal nail board um so it's very very strong it does not bend at all um and it's two of those with the PVC pipes flattened and sandwiched between them. What that means is, although right now I don't have the pieces to keep them equal separate apart, they will not move. <laughs> there is no movement here. It is incredibly strong. <laughs> it's like, it, it, it doesn't shift at all. Um, it also means though, because the majority of this then is based with a, oh, sorry, I've still got part of this done up because again, I was trying it yesterday. We get some pictures. Um, the majority of this is padded. It's got one very sh thick sheet of interfacing on the inside. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's like, it's basically like costume collar interfacing. It's really thick uh, sewing. It's it's very intense interfacing. It's like the most intense interfacing I've ever seen. And then the outside is sewn with curtain lining. Uh, so like blackout curtain lining. And then it's done up with buckles. All of the places where the buckles are, it's got a, very, very much like a lot of padding. Uh, it's got six ounce wadding on the inside, but then it's layered double. So it's more like 12 ounce wadding. So that's what all of this is. So where you can see all of this, just so that I can't feel up anything on the inside. It's got all of that. So this is all very much padded. Um, and then this is done up like a bra. <laughs> These are all done with buckles. And this part, although it's very thin, it goes over the top of where my Spanx and my sports bra are. So I actually, it's very much far away from my skin. So it's thin, but also I can't really feel it because it's padded by what I've gotten underneath anyway. 
Yes! I hope that kind of makes sense. It's a bit difficult because I can't show you the inside workings. I do have a picture of it on my Instagram because it's now covered. It's like, I can't show you it. But it's it's uh, screwed together. Yes. Oh dear. The great bobbin betrayal of 2021. Yeah, there's the bobbins. Norfolk, nice. I'm I'm originally from Hampshire, uh, but I've, I've lived in Wales for seven years now. <laughs> for those curious of Jelly's progress, check her Instagram. Oh, yeah. Uh, high tech nappy for dragons. <laughs> <laughs> High tech nappy, god damn it. They will not move. Shake so angrily. Looks like small bulletproof vest. What type of cosplay is this again? The cosplay is this one in the corner. <laughs> It'd be like I did this, shakes hardy with crazy eye. The enormous amount of work. Yeah, so also the other benefit of this is it's incredibly lightweight. Um, because it's going underneath what is an armor. So there's no armor here. It's all just like sewing and velvet and coats and stuff like that. This needed to be quite thin. Because otherwise it's gonna look like I'm wearing like a rugby vest underneath what I'm wearing, which is not good for like basically this costume. It's not, it's you don't want like a rugby vest on underneath. That's not good. Cause this is this is not she's not wearing a rugby vest on underneath, so I wanted it very thin. This weighs 600 grams. It's incredibly lightweight um doing it this way. So yeah. That's also pretty good. Oh dear. Oh so unpredictable! How's the great conjunction today? I have got a newspaper for next week. But we will not find out until next week. <laughs> it's a very nice clean job. Thank you. Uh, I'm excited to see how it looks gone. Same. So it's pear-shaped and screwed. Pear-shaped and screwed. You are right. You also adopted Welshie. Yee! Adopted Welshie. Yeah, at this point, I, this is a thing. It's like, I'll always say that I grew up in Hampshire. Because I think that's where the majority of my accent come from. But I've been here long enough. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be leaving anytime soon. I have a lot of family near Wales, near Cardiff. Oh. Wales is a lovely country. Absolutely lovely country. Uh, only 600 gram. Yeah, it's really lightweight. I had to weigh it on uh, kitchen scales <laughs> because it was so lightweight. It, and that is, bear in mind, in this state, so it's still got these pipes in it. It's so lightweight. The only part in this that weighs anything is those nail boards. And I got two of those in there sandwiching the pipes. Everything else is so lightweight. So it, it, it weighs like lesser bag of sugar. <laughs> it, it's so lightweight. <laughs> Oh, I think Jelly will make full body suit of armor cosplay. I don't think that I will, unless it was sewn. Maybe if it was sewn, I would. Jelly is literally newspaper of next week's news and she won't tell us what's gonna happen. I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> Did you mean Jelly Flesh? How much are the pipes that connect to it weigh? Um, I would have to... If I weigh, I have some that are cut. I can't weigh them on stream because of course it's all downstairs. I can weigh some of the different lengths and tell you that, but it wouldn't be exactly the same length as those ones. But they'd be close. I could get that weight. Yeah, I, I could do that. And then the doppel, yeah. I, I I could weigh the frame separately because those bits are now screwed in permanently. It's I, I can't really weigh those separately, but I can weigh the rest of it. Yes. Uh, Nightbot be naughty. Nightbot do be naughty. Right, let's bring this back and keep sewing. My last week was ruined because you didn't tell us yesterday how it was supposed to go. I'm so sorry. Thanks, Jelly. It was raining. You can blame the Welsh weather. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I'm so curious to know when it's all find out how much weight you're going to be carrying around. I am also very curious. If I had to guess, though, I would put my bet on the majority of the weight coming from the coat that the doppel is wearing. So that black coat... Uh, I think that's where the majority of the weight's gonna come from. If I had to guess, I, I would say that's where it's gonna come from. I think that's gonna be the nightmare. Uh, when is it not raining in Wales? I feel it. <laughs> Last week was a nightmare. It literally, it was just tipping down every single day. I was like, come on, I've got things to do. The one day in winter when it's snowing. Oh, that's, that's the other thing. So you're gonna have two pipes run through the body or does the puppet have some kind of arm to in it? Let me show you actually. I can show you some, sorry, this is like my book of, uh, book of math and also, um, <laughs> a little bit zoomed in. Book of math, but also uh, tick boxes. So we have lots of tick boxes when we do stuff. So like we've done a lot on this page. And uh, this kind of shows to an extent how it works. So you, this bit, for instance, we've already done, but it shows like the inside a little bit more. It goes up through the wig. 
So this will be going up through the wig up the back of my head. We'll be having a lot of these pipes connecting. So I have done some of this, it's just not attached this bit. Um, that will be holding them together the whole way up. But I should have another picture somewhere that better explains how it goes the whole way up. Yeah. So it's basically... <laughs> <laughs> this looks very odd. It's basically going to be going the entire way up with this piece at the top. That's going to be what's connecting it to the head. Um, so it is a direct up. The only thing that's a little different is the piece that goes on top of the head. Um, so there's a piece that goes onto the cap of the head, which I do have another picture for. It's just a little difficult to switch between them because they're all so separate. This is my fault. I separated all my drawings. Yeah. So there's a cap that goes over the head, which we started doing the prep for yesterday, which is actually made out of warbler. That'll be going over the cap, uh, sorry, over the back of my head, over the wig that I'll be actually wearing underneath. So it's two wigs, one goes over the top of the other, but this will be going over the top of this with this up the back. Um, and what that will do is just sit on the back of my head. It's not gonna be attached, but it will lean. That's because the doppel will lean forward, almost 100%. Um, it will lean forward, so that will lean on the back of my head. Um, I don't want it attached because it means that if anything hit the doppel it would pull my neck back with it. But that will lean on the back of my head. Yes, like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, dear. This music has a new Mario Bros vibe to it. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty vibrant. All of this music has been pretty vibrant. I'm sending lots of sun from Germany. Thank you, thank you. We'll take it. The sacred book. No, 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 don't worry about it. I'm more than happy to explain because it is a bit of a weird project. So organized. Yeah, I mean, I need all of this. Otherwise, I don't... First of all, it's a really overwhelming project. Uh, sorry, I'm not ever as uh, not ever as focused in this camera. It's a really overwhelming project. Um, so having the tick boxes helps keep me from getting overwhelmed because it gives me... It's like, okay, God, I've got to do this, 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 and this. It's like, wait, no, stop. Just focus on... Okay, so yes, I do need to do all of this, but I can take it step by step by step. And the first thing I need to do is take the length and waist measurements. We'll just do that first. And the next thing after that, make a paper pattern with those measurements. And the next thing after that, I'll sew the top and bottom pieces together. And the next thing after that is I'll hem both of those pieces. And look, I've ticked off four boxes. Good job, stop there. <laughs> and after every 10 boxes is ticked, I get myself a takeaway. <laughs> so it's it's a really nice way of, um, of keeping myself from getting over overdone and like doing too much. Um, it's a good way of stopping myself getting overwhelmed. It, it keeps me organized and makes sure that I'm not missing any steps. And it's a nice way of rewarding myself when I do work. Because otherwise, who's going to reward me? I reward myself! <laughs> Give myself a takeaway. And like at the moment, I actually owe myself a takeaway. Because I already ticked another 10 boxes. It's just we have food in the fridge right now, so <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> when the food runs out, I, I order myself a takeaway. So yeah, it's good. Oh, uh, dear. Uh, I'm just gonna run for a hot minute and grab some lunch. Oh, don't worry, Kaz. Yes, please. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes. Look after yourself. You've had a stream. Get food. Chill. Yes, yeah, sorry. I want to be as organized as this. Bless you. Oh, Jelly, your book is out of camera. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm amazed by your concept for this cosplay. It's actually all the... Oh, bless you, Secrety. It's... I think this took a lot of planning before we even took it onto stream. I think I was planning it for three months. Because it was pretty intense, but it's been really fun. You're basically just going product manager, running off into part of my life. It's it's a heckin it's a heckin intense. I don't know if I could do this all the time, but for bigger ones, I like the planning method. I may have to adopt it. Yeah, I think I think the rewarding part is is quite important because it. I don't want it to come off like I don't like cosplay because I do. I really do like cosplay, but it can definitely get overwhelming when uh, when doing bigger cosplays like this, and. And not because I don't like them, but because there's just so much to do. And until you're in those last few steps, it still feels like there's so much to do. Um, and so, yeah, having having those like little rewards. Uh, and, and for me, I don't need much. I just need to like get myself for, like a little a little takeaway every now and again. Oh, Shima, God, thank you so much for the um, thank you so much for the follow. It's very very kind of you. Welcome. Um, yeah, I just need like those li little little food rewards. Uh, it could even like before what I would do was each each um, each step would be related to a, a, a plate of sushi in in yo sushi and that's what I would do 
but um, of course, because Yosushi is not open and we're in a pandemic, that's not that's not a suitable reward right now. So just getting a takeaway every ten every ten steps is a bit better for me. But yeah, that works that works perfectly well. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's nice. I always go until I am burnout and then I just stop for days. See, that's kind of what I want to avoid. Also, because um, for me, um, I really struggle with keeping myself entertained um, throughout the day generally. Uh, I'm I'm very very short attention span kind of person and so cosplay for me is like it is literally what I do 99% of the time um, it uh, is sewing something or making something also because I can't look at screens very much uh, I, I struggle a lot with looking at screens so that wasn't a very good stitch so I'm going to be doing that one again um, because I get migraines from looking at screens uh, so I do my my stream and then I often won't look at a, a screen I might listen to to a stream but I won't look at it and if I'm not looking at it, I, what am I doing? I'm just standing there? No, it's like I need to be doing something. <laughs> oh, the rewarding keeps up the momentum when the visible progress doesn't exactly. And with, with this costume in particular, there has been no visible progress really for like weeks sometimes. And like, yeah, so having, having those like foods, it's like, heck yeah, food progress. Something is happening with this. I can't quite put my finger on it. I think the bobbin needs refreading. I'm gonna look at that because something is not right. What's wrong with you? Is it the bobbin? Is the tension not right? It should be fine. But it's weird. Something's not... Something ain't right! Really, really good. Except it's not really, really good. I'm gonna... Like, that one, it did work. It's just... It's pulling strangely and I don't want it to be doing that the whole way across because I'm, I'm trying to stop it from making extra threads. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, did we get 25% already? Yeah. I, I, I've clearly put the reward too low and underestimated everyone again. <laughs> Apologies. It would have been done earlier but Twitch mobile is butts. Yeah. Oh jeez, I looked at the clock and realised it's nearly 5am and I only played three games. Oh no, Mr. Sandman. Oh no. I'm sorry. Food is ready. Heck yeah! You get your food. You get your food. 50 points is lowballing. I think Jelly secretly wants another business stream. That, I, that It could also be that. I was just here like, yeah, I just desperately... I, to be fair, I'm ready for another business stream. So. This is what I wanted to do. I've sewn it to the wrong piece. I was meant to sew it to the other piece and I've sewn it to itself. God damn it. Me, why are you like this? You've sewn it to its bloody self. God damn it, now you have to unpick it. Well, it didn't look good anyway. <laughs> I'm off to bed, here goes- Oh, thank you so much! Take care, Mr. Sandman, get some good Z's. I'll just be here, mucking up, you know. An interesting message in this song. I don't know how I'd meet about someone who never said no. I'd be like, make me food. You can't say no. I want food. More food. More snacks. <laughs> uh, I'd like snacks, please. More snacks. It would not be a good relationship. Also, you could never have a fun debate with someone if they never said no to you. I was like, come on. What about my debates? How can we debate best girl of the season? I mean, this probably only works if you're both anime fans, but like, come on. <laughs> oh dear, we're only six points- oh god. <laughs> oh Sensei, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day. I'm technically at work. There's nothing going on work-wise, so me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sky, fair enough. Oh dear, welcome- welcome to-, to, to I mucked up. You know what though? It's been a little while since we did any, any unpicking. So, it was probably my time. It was my time to unpick. At, at some point, the unpicking demons, they come round to you and they say, you must now unpick. You have done it, and you unpick. <laughs> it's like, okay. I will, take, I will take my punishment and I shall unpick, for it has been a while since I last unpicked something. And as I sew more and more, I do find I unpick less and less, so that is good. But still, my time does come. <laughs> oh, 
I'm technically sending out applications for jobs, so no judgment. <laughs> nice. Good luck with it, by the way. I hope that it goes well. i be honest, it's one of the most grueling jobs in the world, sending out applications for jobs, so I do send you the best of luck. Great, Twitch changed things again. Can no longer hide the sub gift of badge. <laughs> you cannot hide! Oh my god, I nearly fell. Jeez. It's the next stream for sure. Wait, you can't? See Rufy Karma. Yeah, I feel like at some point, at some point it comes around to everyone and you have to rip a seam and it's like, well, here we are again. Seam ripper. Oh. Uh, theory me. But you can't? I think, I think also though, please correct me if I'm wrong here. Can you only have three, three Twitch symbols next to your name at one time? Because I only ever see people with three Twitch symbols next to their name. And I think I myself only ever have three Twitch symbols next to my name. So Twitch kind of just picks which ones it is. Yeah. That's right, Messenger. I think it can. They changed the way that you do it. That is correct. Three is max. Yes, yes, I think so. Yeah, yeah, three. So, yeah. So it has it just sort of, sort of like prioritized which ones you get? Because that's kind of a shame. I feel like you should get to pick. If you've done more than three things in a channel, you should get to pick. Wait, if you're a mod, can you choose for the mod one not to appear? Because that would be kind of hilarious. <laughs> Secret mod! <laughs> like, wait, there's no mods in this channel. Ban! Where is my thingy? I've lost you. I'm sure I would have thrown you on the floor, but I guess... Where the heck have I put you? God damn it, why am I like this? Yeah. I need my thingy. You're not behind there. Um. Oh, there you are. Cool. <laughs> uh, mod is the one that's fixed. Damn it! Uh. You can change the symbols in your profile. Oh, okay, nice. I didn't know that actually. Thank you, Ragnar. It's appreciated. <laughs> Annoyingly, whilst you can choose the ones you can, the can'ts, uh, you can't choose any three of what's available. Oh, okay. No. The one that's fixed is. Oh, the same with VAP. So VAP is fixed and. Oh, okay, so I'm so sorry, Winged. I've, I've forced your hand. <laughs> oh, so Matrix, how's it going? Undercover mod, secret ninja mod. I love the idea of having like a secret ninja mod. It's just being like, they're a mod, you just never know because they don't keep it on there. You can adjust the third one, but see, I, I, I can show my cheered one. Oh, okay, okay. Each badge is assigned to a slot and prioritised in that, so VIP over certified, OG sub over sub. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. You can click the badge in your typing area. Okay. Now it's red. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's go pink! Oh my god, wait, you can just change! <laughs> I didn't realise! You're just changing your- You can pick any of the- So you could just pick, like, your favourite colour jelly and be like, Ah, oh, I'm gonna be this colour jelly today. Okay. Nice. I didn't realise you could- Oh, wait, you could pick any of them. Oh my god. So you could just pick your favourite colour jelly and be that one. That's kind of- That's kind of cool, I like that. Huh. I'm glad people have the option if if they 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 hit a level that they're like, oh, I don't like this level of color. I'm just gonna pick the color that I like. Not just be a conductor. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Ah, uh, visions of them like nine riders with two losing out the dark behind as a friend with a cold silver sword. I think that's how every mod wants to be visualized, you know. <laughs> Okay, actually, I'm being silly because I don't need to use the ruler. I'm silly. I can j literally use the fabric. The fabric is one and a half meters. <laughs> Why am I like this? I'm being silly. Don't do that. No silly. Only only sensibleness. Also, shifted look. Thank you for the horn. Uh, choo -choo. Oh, wait, you have a 19 now. Whoa. Heck yeah. Uh, I've learned a lot today. I've learned about tab. Better, better, better. So this is 200 now. I actually need to go back to my measurements because otherwise I'm gonna get lost. I know I needed a 200. This is now 200. This is a spare 50. 
<laughs> Hopefully there's one that's 250, let's see. Ah, oh, it's 290 next. Uh, it might be better to do 300. Oh well, we'll work it out, we'll work it out. Ah, oh, silly jelly has a nice ring to it. God damn it. No, wasn't me. <gasps> Was you, I can see it. I agree winged. No, Shifty would never haunt. You hot all the time. I think you're our third most channel points used. <laughs> oh, never. All the time. All the time. Ah, oh, right. I have no idea where I'm going to use that 50. <laughs> cha cha cha. This is slander. It is not slander. I can see these things. I have the vision. I can see it. I know that it's... I know it to be true. <laughs> okay, I think I can... Oh, da, da, da. Oh, da, da, da. <laughs> okay, if I... Sew these together off the bat. I can maybe just go the whole way down them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we uh, this changing of left right channel is trippy music. What? What is the music trippy? Oh no! Cha cha cha! <laughs> I didn't realize. I didn't realize the channel music was trippy. No, no, no. Oh, thank you for the poster check. Oh shoot, and a hydrate too. Heck, also, hi Harmony, how's it going? I should actually probably hydrate a bit because it's been like an hour and a half when I haven't finished my tea. Ah, oh, okay. I'll put it over there now. <laughs> ah, the music just muted in one ear for a second, then went to the other, and then returned to stereo. Oh no. Oh no. Music, are you okay? Do you know where you want to be? You're good, how are you? I'm good, thank you, Harmony. I'm having a lovely day. We are doing some lovely sewing. We're doing lots of lengths right now, but that's okay. We have a lot of lengths to do. This one is about 300, so I can work that out. I can work that out. Actually, wait, this is 300, so this is the whole length. Oh, that's nice and easy, heck yeah. I can work that out easy peasy. Oh, uh, did it again. Someone forgot to set the oh, <laughs> the output channels and mixing this. Oh no. So it's just like, watch it, chat. So yeah, these are going to be the uh, gathers that go around the boning channels on the hoop. Very important, very, very important step to make sure that the, the hoop skirt looks good. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna pop off for a bit, maybe back later. Better luck with the rest of the stream. Thank you, Shifty Bluke. I appreciate it. Also, thank you so much for your assistance earlier with the uh, invasion of people coming and, uh, not the raid, the invasion of people coming and spamming rude things in the chat. I appreciate that. That was very kind of you. Anyone who doesn't know Shifty Bluke, um, they are. They are one of our mods who, who was very, very kind and helpful today. But also they do stream and they do good bean streams. <laughs> I have a few things I'd like to bring to the meeting. <laughs> Mainly biscuits. <laughs> Yee, we always welcome biscuits. 2,350 points to go. Oh my God, also call them Annika. Manager, Jelly says carnivorous pies. Write that down, write that down. <laughs> Voting channels, people don't call them but. <laughs> Wow! Wow! Hype, hype, hype! We have a person repairing our bathtub, our bathtub tab now, and they put a mask before entering the flat without having to ask them. Jesus, that's good! Heck yeah! We had somebody come in and we, we had to give them a mask because they didn't have one. <laughs> we had somebody come in to, to check out because uh, we've had some issues with our gas. Um, and we had to give them a mask. 
dear, that's horrible. I know. Zay! No worries, guys, I didn't miss the action. Oh, thanks for the shout out. Yeah. Whoa! What can I say? I'm a derpy mood today. We're more derpy than usual. Okay. The thing is, there is a big difference between someone making a harmless joke and it being a bit like, ugh! God damn it, why would you do this? To someone coming in and being rude. And we appreciate Zay. What we don't appreciate is people coming in and asking if, uh, asking rude questions. Eh. Oh, as opposed to Zay. <laughs> I'm glad I chanced across the channel today. None of my usual follow channels are live, but this one has been absolutely true. Oh, bless you! You s that's very kind of you. Heck. <laughs> we, we, we just craft. <laughs> and oh, we craft and I guess technically we practice for a speed run, but mainly we craft. <laughs> uh, the ang I'm so angry at TikTok right now. What started off as a joke has turned into a two hour 39 minute musical. <laughs> that's very long for TikTok. I don't have the TikTok. Um, I don't, I don't. The thing is, so I probably have the same issue with TikTok as I have with Twitter, which is Twitter only lets you type like five lines of message. And I have a lot to say about sewing and crafts and the stuff that I'm making. Like when I, the, this is a thing. If somebody asks me a question about something that I'm making, I want to tell you what I am making, right? I want to explain it. And Twitter is like, well, let me condense it down real quick. I put the thing on the thing done. Yeah, they go. I can't tell you. I can't tell you how I made something. I can post a picture and then explain nothing because there is no, there is no, I'd have to tell you, I'd have to send you like 20 messages. And that's not what I want to do. I don't want to have to send you like 20 messages to explain it. Um, <laughs> and I'm not a fan. The other thing is if I post a picture, it puts it like this, like, like a, like a, like a, like a letterbox. And I don't, I don't want to have to be like, oh yeah, here's a picture of my costume, but you get to see a picture of my crotch because that's what it shows you. Um, great, thank you, Twitter. I appreciate that. Um, I, I made this costume, but here's my crotch or here's my boobs. That's all you see because that's the box that it sends you. Uh, I have to post at least two pictures so that you don't see that. It's, it bothers me. Um, I don't like that. <laughs> that's not my favorite. Um, so I don't like that very much. And, and then TikTok seems like the same kind of issue where I have to condense everything down an awful lot and like, I'll be honest, even with the shorter costumes that I do, it's a lot to condense down. And I kind of want to explain my process a little bit if somebody asks, oh, how did you make that? I don't want to be like, well, I slap the thing on the thing and the thing and I'm done. Because that doesn't really explain it. And I'll, when I ask people questions, oh, like, how did you make this? I get really lovely in-depth answers on different platforms uh, where people explain and they'll be really lovely and really sweet. Uh, I don't think TikTok really gives you the the amount the way to do that and it's not the creator's fault it's the platform and so i don't think that i'll get along with tiktok in the same way that i don't get along with twitter the only reason that i'm on twitter is because there were people that were like i don't have instagram and it's like that's fair and i don't want you to feel like you're missing out because you don't have instagram there we go that was like a use case for wordpress block <laughs> potentially not tiktok on broadway oh my god tiktok on broadway heck what use is a business meeting for, by the way? I see something to spend points and I click it without knowing. So we've had two business meetings so far. We bring an agenda. We talk about business. Um, and yep, it's sewing and business. Uh, I think the first week was sewing of the flesh. Um, and we made, we made flesh. And then the next week was ruffles. Yes, the agenda of ruffles. Very important. Very important stuff. It was inside of a whale. Sounds like you use... I it's so much my costume, but here's one of my crotch. God damn it. <laughs> you choose out the box crops. Exactly. Like at least let me move it up a bit to my face. Uh it it annoys me. It annoys me intensely. Did you read Jelly Flesh? <laughs> did, did you mean flesh? That was me like Twitter, the duck egg of social media platforms. Yeah. Um I'll be honest, I'm pretty new to Twitter, but it just I'm and again, if you don't have if you just want to post a picture or if you just want to post like a short, like a short opinion. It's like, like that you just want to get off your chest very quickly. I completely understand that it would be very, very useful, but I don't really have short opinions. Um, and a lot of the stuff is I want to give full explanations of how I've made stuff because I think that's one of my favorite things about the cos cosplay community, right? Um, is it's always very open to explaining, right? 
which is we, we they don't hold things like oh that's my that's my technique i'm not going to tell you my technique that's my technique that's not what the cosplay community has ever been like at least not the cosplay community that i grew up with it's been very much like I've discovered this new technique or this new t material. Let me show you what I've made with it. Let me show you what I can use it for. Let me make a video on it. Let, let, me, let, me, let me do a blog on it. And Twitter doesn't really facilitate that um, in, in the same way. In like, I can't do that because I can only post five lines of text. And if I'm really excited about this new thing, for instance, like the harness that I made, it's so lightweight. If that ends up working out really well, which I can't say right now because I've not finished it, I'd love to write about it a little bit, right? And explain exactly how I made it, like show all of the parts I got where from, so that if anyone else is looking to make a really cheap, because that that harness cost me less than fifty quid, um, a really cheap lightweight harness for anyone who's looking to make one uh, and doesn't have a lot of the tools, because again I don't have like really big sanding stuff or anything like that, and is looking to make a really lightweight harness, I'd love to be able to share that with people. But Twitter doesn't really give me the way of doing that. I can't type that much. I'd have to literally make like a Photoshop uh, document where I could do all of the typing so that I could then upload it to Twitter for it to cut it down to about that size. <laughs> oh dear. Flesh and Ruffles. Normal business. Yeah, really, really normal business. I have met professionals like that where they hear everything you want to say and they won't give you back a time. <laughs> yeah, it's... it's I love the cosplay community for that in that it's very open to sharing and honestly it's like a lot of passionate people who just want to share their passion right and so it's it's lovely for that but Twitter doesn't really embrace what I, it's not it's not Twitter's fault necessarily it's not the platform for that yeah you can tweet a link to your blog <laughs> I can just tweet links to my blog just just a blog I just have a blog <laughs> Twitter's okay but you need to be happy with threads pun not intended <laughs> The pun is very much there. The pun is very much there. Also, thank you for the horn. Lost, how's it going? Thank you for the horn. Peg, pun is there. The pun is there. Yeah, you have to be able to write like a thread over and over and over like this. And the other thing is that I have feelings about you can't spell check yourself, right? If you've if you've written something and you realize, oh shoot, I've I've misspelled that. I need to fix it. You have to delete the post and repost it because you you spelled something wrong. Oh, I have feelings. Or just live with the fact that you misspelled something. Very annoying. Very annoying. Uh, links to vlogs. That'll do the trick. Okay, prepare today. Welcome. I hope you're in fact having a lovely day. And again, I don't think that it's necessarily always an issue with the, the website itself. I just think that it doesn't work well with the type of the type of things that I want to do. Yeah. Like that links a vlog that'll do the trick. Yeah, Twitter is weird. It's not great for pictures. It's not great for text. It's just kind of meh. Good for sharing stuff, I suppose. I think it's great if you want to interact with people a lot of the time. Like for the conversations, I guess that's great. But because I do most of my talking over Twitch, like, and then I kind of have to get off of the screen because I can't do a lot of screen time, it's not great for me. Again, it, it, it's going to be great for some people, but because I suffer with migraines so often, I, I kind of do so much of my stuff on Twitch and then I immediately get away from the screen. I'll, I might have stuff listening in the background, like listening to another stream, but I often won't be watching it. Um, yeah, so it's, it's not great for me personally. But I can understand people having conversations and liking it for that. Also, again, for sharing artwork, for getting that out there. I imagine it could be good for that. Um, for a lot of people. It, it's just the picture cropping is a bit weird. You have to kind of get used to sharing more than one piece of artwork at once, potentially, or stuff like that. about to using pigeons for messages. Pigeons, go! Oh dear. I do talking on Discord. That's fair. That's very fair. Pigeons sounds good. S like, do the smoke messages. Uh, so that's three meters. I then need four meters for this one. Four meters. So that would be, I need an extra hundred, which that's only 50. So I actually need three together for this one. Okay. Okay. 
that's fine. Excuse me. A hiccup. So I can sew these two. And then I need one more. Ah, uh, I miss forms. Forms are great. Ah, uh, I can form. Oh dear. I was always a little intimidated by forums growing up. I think I think because I didn't have like a laptop of my own until I was like a bit older. I was always a bit like, oh I don't know if I I know if I should go into forums. <laughs> uh, I was nervous. I was a nervous person. But I um I did go into one a uh, specific one and I played a lot of uh <laughs> it was very nerdy it was like a forum and you could play Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> I did go into one for that oh uh, you know you can do internet via pigeon there's wait really there's an RFC document I fear but heavy K and they did it with real oh my god the bandwidth is horrifically low they were packing oh <gasps> Amazing. You serious? That's amazing. That is amazing. As a heart attack, it's technically terrible. Oh my god. I remember those. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, forums massively helped me learn English as a non native speaker. Oh, that's really cool. I used to do DD uh, forum myself. Amazing. Yes, I used to I used to be in a, a DD forum. And that was like when I first played DD, was in a forum. Um, because I, I knew it was something that I wanted to do, right? I wanted to play D&D, but um, I was too nervous uh, because I didn't know if any of my friends played it. And in hindsight, I feel like I could have asked my friends at the time. <laughs> I just was too nervous. And so I didn't ask any of my friends at the time. I was just like, I'm just going to play it on a forum. <laughs> and so that was where I first played D&D. And then when I met people who, who played D&D, they were like, do you want to play D&D? And they were, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were like, have you ever played before? And I was like, technically, yes. <laughs> But only on a forum. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mike. We don't have we don't have links. Apologies. Uh, same. I had no friends that would ever play that. Especially, yeah, especially when I joined one that had will at least try with your grammar. Oh, okay. I never interacted with forums. I just read them, and I used to play text-based RPGs with friends. We were all that same person. <laughs> we were just playing. We were playing games and forums. <laughs> Yes. Ah, uh, amazing. Now this is kind of amazing. <laughs> we were playing like a D and D or RPGs in a in forums. <laughs> but yeah, I did that for for quite a while, and that that was like yeah. I did read other ones, but I never interacted in any of them because I was just like way too nervous, way too nervous to do that. Ah. <laughs> uh, but I will say I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed the, uh, the D&D. That was good. I'm glad that I did that. It also meant that, oh sorry, I can come straight back to this. When I, um, when I did eventually play D&D in person, I felt like a little bit more confident with some of the rules because it's like I kind of have played it before. Although it's very different playing it in person than it is online. It's, uh, I felt a little bit better with it. I'm still very nervous, but I was like, I'm not quite so bad. Oh. Thank you so much for the follow. It's very kind of you. Ah, oh, I'm honest there. So I started playing D&D at school and I went on to play by mail for games before the internet was a thing. Oh my god. Wait, that's pretty cool though. Hey, hey, that's pretty cool. Oh dear. See right now, like, uh, again, of course, part, partly to do with everything going on in the world. Um, I don't play D and D right now. I have no active sessions on the go. Right now, the only tabletop RPG that I'm playing is Vampire the Masquerade, which I will say I am really enjoying. I didn't know how much I'd enjoy it going into it because, like, I knew the world because of the game, like the, the video game, but um, I didn't know how much I would enjoy playing it as like a like, tabletop RPG. But I actually really enjoy it. I've I've really loved it. And yeah, so that, that's that's the one that I play now. 
that I've been playing over uh, Discord. And that, that's been really good. Oh, <laughs> sorry, so, so, suffering occupied. Suffering occupied. Energy, thank you so much for the follow. That's so kind of you. Sorry, I was like, I'm not gonna get this right. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I was like, saying, do you only played it a few years ago via Discord World 20? Oh, World 20 is also a, a good way of doing it online. The latest edition brought so many new people to D&D. &D. Oh, so easy to buy players nowadays. That's good. I only want to play D&D &D at least once in my lifetime. It, it, it is, like, of course it's not going to be for everyone, but it is fun. If you think you have an interest, it's definitely worth giving it a try. Yeah, for sure. I think lots of people talk about interest in D&D makes me happy. I love it. I, I, I really, I really love it. It's been really fun. It's like one of those things I'm really glad that I, I did eventually fuck up the courage to give a go, even though it was on a forum. And then I'm so glad that I met people that, that did, <laughs> did play. And yeah, I've had a really good time with it. It's cool. It is cool. It's definitely as well more more acceptable to talk about than I feel like when, when I first, first found people on a forum to play than it was back then. Um, and I love, <laughs> the only thing that I'm a bit sad about these days is because more of my games are online, I don't have a chance to use any of my dice. <laughs> like all of my dice are just in a bag and I'm like, ah, my dice! I never get to use them. I mean, I'm so glad that I have them, but I never get to use them. Pathfinder 2, I love Pathfinder. That does, I, I had a Pathfinder game running last year, but I haven't got any at the moment. I love Pathfinder. Ah! <laughs> uh, Pretty awesome too. I love the world building they've done on that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pathfinder is great. Oh, dice goblin is me sad. All those dice not being rolled. I know, right? They have nowhere to roll. I mean, I'll be honest. I wouldn't be rolling them really for for vampire anyway, just because it's got different different dice. It's a slightly different game, but uh, for everything else, it's like no. We have nothing to roll for. I switch from player to DM just so I can keep using my dice. Yeah. Uh, I think, see, I don't know how long, oh, Flower of Magical Carpenter, thank you so much for following as well, it's very kind of you. I don't, I don't know how confident I would feel in, um, in DMing, even, even at this point where it's like, I've been playing for such a long time, I still don't, I don't know, it still feels like I have a lot to learn, I still feel like I have a lot to learn. Imagine all the nat 20s they roll all this time, they have to recharge. You know, I'm more of a nat 1 kind of person, to be quite honest, but I kind of don't mind it. You know, there's something very fun about also being being the person in your team that just consistently rolls nat 1s. <laughs> you can kind of... It, 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 it's a different kind of fun when you always roll nat 1s. <laughs> uh, you, just, you just consistently let your team down and it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> As a forever DM, I sometimes also have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> well, I think I think it's the unpredictability of the game, right? I think I'd be very nervous. But I, not that I wouldn't have a good time. I think it just takes a bit of getting used to, I suppose. One day maybe. One day maybe. Just don't let your players know. <laughs> they take advantage. I, I wasn't sure if I'd like it in the beginning, but now I honestly love it. Plus, I love homebrewing both rules and settings. Yeah, I imagine. Oh. Maybe, I, I think maybe one day it is something that I would give a go to, but it's just getting up the courage to do it in the first place, and then I'm sure once I take the leap it'll be fine. It's just, I, I mean, at the end of the day, I know so many people that probably would do it with, like, who would be the players, that I, I'm sure they'd be a lovely group. It's just <laughs> the nerves, the nerves. Oh. Uh... I play with a group, there's four different DMs, so there's so many different games between us. Oh, wait, that's lovely there. So I'm sure there's like lovely, lovely energy in the team. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> uh, Jelly, maybe give DMing Fate of Cthulhu. Ah, uh, is it Fate of Cthulhu or, or was it? Was, no, am I thinking of a different one? Oh dear, the rules say everyone, above all, everyone's there to... Make each other look awesome, so it's collaborative to make the, take the pressure of the GM. Oh, you don't have to be Matt Mercer. That's sad. Was it was it Fate of Cthulhu? Or am I thinking of a different one? Oh dear. You mean Jelly Flesh also? Very important. Did you mean Jelly Flesh? <laughs> oh, I enjoy creating a backstory and uh, and 
character's personality more than I thought I would. I, I do too. I, I, I used to, that used to really scare me. That used to really scare me was the, the creating the backstory because I was like, I always felt like they were never as good as everyone else's. And like, that I again, like I, I just felt like I was letting the team down or that I wasn't being creative enough or that I couldn't get into character enough. But now I, I just, I just love, I just love all of it. And I just want to have fun and like, yeah, it's, it's just, I love seeing everyone's different personalities on the table and yeah, it's a lot more fun and a lot less stressed about that part. Yeah, it's just good. Oh yeah, I think I'm thinking Call of Cthulhu. That's maybe what I'm thinking. That's probably what I'm thinking. Oh dear. Oh, and thank you for the like, Punisher. Take care. I know sometimes I catch myself while doing some silly voice and the embarrassment things are pretty fast. Yeah, so, so I think... I don't always do a silly voice, but like there are definitely characters where I've done voices for them and there's like times where I'm the only person doing a, a voice from my character and um, it's like it's just me! <laughs> oh. oh, it's based on Fate, a generic RPG system that's very much focused on narrative over number crunching. That's an example of... Oh, okay, we really understand. That's fair, that's fair. That, that makes sense. Call of Cthulhu can be quite unforgiving compared to Fate of Cthulhu. Okay, that, that makes sense on the suggestion then. Okay, cool. Thank you for letting me know. Appreciate it. Oh dear. So it's a similar game, it's just a different way of playing. Okay. Oh dear. Yeah, there'll be times where I'll, I'll be the only one doing a voice and I'm like, ah. I mean, I'm gonna keep doing it because I've started doing it. Unless I forget. But I, I will probably keep doing it, but... Um, then there, then there are also times where I haven't given a character a voice. Like my character in Vampire the Masquerade doesn't have a voice because when I started that character, it was like two years ago. And at that point, I didn't often give my characters voices. So um, he doesn't have a voice. And then since then, other characters have come in that do have very distinct like talking like or voices and stuff like that. And I kind of almost regret not giving him a voice um, because I almost would like him to sound more distinct from my normal talking. But yeah, it's a bit late now. It's been two years. If he just suddenly started coming up with an accent, it'd be like, where did you come from suddenly? Same myth or same ideas, just way more fun. Nice. Always up for more fun. Always up for more fun. Uh, yeah. I, I think that's, I, like, obviously, like, this isn't to say that you have to do a voice, by the way, or anything like that. Play as you like, always. But, um,. I, I, I do like giving my characters voices these days. Like obviously there is there is an element of feeling a little bit embarrassed, especially if I'm playing with people that I don't know as well. But these days it's just so much fun um, being put in silly situations and having to continue doing a weird voice. It's like, and also I think for me, I often play male characters. Um, so I think I want to say about 90% of the characters that I play in D&D are male. Um, so having a voice that really distincts it from my normal talking voice, I think, is is really fun. Uh, because that way, if I'm asking the, D the DM a question, it's very clear if I'm asking the DM a question or if my character is talking. <laughs> um, because you all sound like this, or I sound like this! <laughs> it's like one or the other. It's very clear. And it's I, I much prefer that. Whereas like sometimes you'll see it with other people, they'll be like, oh, did you ask that in character? I'm not quite sure. With me, very obvious if I asked it in character. <laughs> right, this should actually be, I think, oh, I can't remember now. Was it, was it right? Oh, I have to pop off new jobs to apply for calling me. Oh, good luck, messenger. Honestly, I wish you the best of luck. It's not a fun job, but honestly, you got this, you got this. Oh, uh, have a great day. Oh, uh, there was a difference in voice. There was a difference in voice. <laughs> wow, wow. Am I getting confused? No, I'm not getting confused. It's... I am getting confused. Four, 400 would be... 50 less. So I just need 50 less. Okay, okay. I, I can do that. <laughs> I'm having some maths problems, but it's okay. Also, hi, Runa. How's it going? I popped in at an interesting moment right here. <laughs> We've been talking about uh, tabletop RPGs, Runa. Oh, dear. Okay, okay. So I need to do is fold this in three. 
because that will be basically if I fold it in free it's 50 50 50 and I only need 400 so if I take off the top 50 then I can add that to the other 50 and I just have two 50s randomly lying around but hey that's now like a spare 100 which I can probably use a spare 100 at some point that's not the worst Whee! Okay, so that is three. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's that one. So the next one is the next one is just uh, three of them stuck together, which is these ones. Yes, 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 yes. Most fun I have is a chaotic evil goblin wizard doing the voice a hundred percent of the time. And I remember the DM telling me, "You are lucky. You're funny because that is voices heckin' obnoxious." Yes. So um, I did a goblin cleric. Uh, and goblin voices so far. <laughs> it's like, it's one of the easiest ones I think to fall back into because you know that you're beaters. <laughs> you know you sound like a goblin. <laughs> um, whereas there's been other ones where I've actually really struggled to fall back into it and I've had to listen to people with similar accents to be like, that's what I'm meant to be doing. Goblin is not so difficult. Um, and yeah, I, I really enjoyed doing the goblin cleric because I, I knew what I was meant to sound like. <laughs> I, I was like, I'm meant to sound like goblin. I can do, I can do that. Uh, I can fall back into Goblin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I loved being Goblin. Goblin Cleric was fun. Um, and I enjoyed that one a lot. Uh, right, I need to start sewing. So I need three of these together, but we don't cut off the excess. Yeah, I think, I think an average. Like, like a female character that doesn't have anything different about her to me would be one of the more difficult ones. Even if I play a female character, which I do every now and again, these days I will try and make her sound a bit different to how I do. Like give her a different a different accent, if that makes sense. Because other, otherwise I get a bit confused about when I'm talking and when they're talking and it's like, I need something different. Something different. Like try and make her sound like she's from Fable or something, I don't know. Something like that. That'll do. Honestly, that's probably one of the more easy ones to do because that is just a much stronger version of my accent. So it's just like, my accent times 1000. I'm from Fable. <laughs> uh, I love Fable. Fable's a great game. I, th I think, I think um, if ever like I'm in the mood for like playing like not not playing D D, but I want that kind of vibe. Fable, <laughs> Fable's like a great game for me for that one. It just gives me the chaotic energy that I desire. <laughs> I always want to try not to sound. I always want to try and sound not too much like my actual self when I play. Yeah, when I first started playing, that was not something that I would want to do because um, I was definitely way too nervous. And I was really lucky. I also always played with groups that would never force me outside of my comfort zone like that. They was always very much like, you know, play at your own pace kind of thing. Like, you know, just if you want to do a voice, do a voice. If you don't want to do a voice, don't do a voice. Like just play within your own comfort zone, which I think is great because as much as voices can be really fun, it's not going to be fun if you're not enjoying it. <laughs> um, but as soon as I wanted to do one, everyone was like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it was great. I had a great time. Oh, it was really fun. <laughs> and everyone was really like, yeah. We have another we have another voice person now. <laughs> At some point I'd like to try and do a character that sounds like overwhelmingly posh. Because I've heard some people do do that sort of character. And that I don't know what it is. But I don't hear it that often, and when I do, it's like an overwhelmingly posh character. I haven't actually done an overwhelmingly posh character in uh, in in any sort of role playing game before, so I think that might be quite a fun one. Just an overwhelmingly posh character. <laughs> Normally, I do slightly more grizzly characters. Oh, Vicky, how's it going? I'm not a chaotic neutral, never. How's it going, Vicky? I hope you're having a good day. Welcome. How how be your stream? And Ozzy, how's it going? 
Oh dear, and Discord enemy! And Latte! Hi, how's it going? How was the stream? What were you doing? Oh, what were you talking about today? If it was just chatting, what was what was the chat? What was the chat? We are doing at the moment. I don't know if you've seen this, Fiki. Uh, I don't know if, if the other people here would have seen it either. We, oh, I put my harness on top of it. We have made a hoop skirt. It's not sewn up at the back yet. It's pear shaped. So it goes in at the bottom and it's very, very uh, thin at the top. This is going to be the shape of our doppel cosplay, which you can see in the bottom corner just down there. And so it'll be like the puppet, the puppet base. We're just doing ruffles at the moment to cover some of the uh, boning tape so that it fits a bit smoother when we put the outfit on over the top. Yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Hey, hey, how's it going? How are you doing? I am doing good, thank you. You sound quite posh as is. I took you down south somewhere. I am. I am south, 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 to south, south, south. Hampshire. <laughs> Oh dear, that's what it is. Hampshire born, Hampshire bred, thick in the arm and thick in the head. <laughs> oh dear. Kit Kat, Kit Kat, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> and the Digby, how's it going? Raid. Raid. Oh, I was just outing myself as a believer in souls in a weird way. Oh, latte. <laughs> Heck yeah. Ooh, that's so cool. Pog. Oh, the Pog. <laughs> uh, you cosplay Harley Quinn. I don't think I've ever cosplayed Harley Quinn, no. I haven't. I like seeing them. I like seeing people's, uh, what do you call it? Different, different takes on it. Because I think Harley Quinn has so many different outfits and people do so many different takes on Harley Quinn. So you can get quite creative with it. But personally, I've never. Ah, uh, sewing. All of the sewing. Uh, yeah. We're doing at the moment, yeah. We're making a lot of, a lot of strips. A lot of strips of fabric. One of those jobs it's not as fun but we gotta do it oh dear oh your hair just looks like the same colors yeah so normally it's like pink like this but then this is like lime not lime lemon yellow like it's really bright but because the yellow fades so quickly oh and thank you for the follow it's very kind of you because the yellow fades so quickly it fades to a blonde quite quite fast so i end up it's meant to be like fruit salad like uh like the sweets but um it fades quite quickly it does that's okay. I, I still like it when it goes to blonde, I do. But uh, I can live with it. I can live with it. The pink stays really well, which I was honestly quite surprised about. Because whenever I've had pink hair in the past, it fades so quickly. But this pink, it really sticks. Like, I ain't getting rid of this pink. Uh, it, it stays like nothing else. It's pink. Woo. Woo. It stays. But that's okay means I have to re dye the yellow like every few weeks. I have to head out happy crafting. Thank you, Rug. Take care. Look after yourself. Thank you so much for popping by. And chat, chat. We've been just talking about uh, tabletop RPGs and talking about doing voices and our different characters and stuff like that. Oh, and Discord enemy. Thank you for the follow too. My friend has the same colour scheme. It's a great one. Your friend has amazing taste. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just like about it. I did it, I think, in October. So just before it started going cold here in the UK. And uh, it, it just brightens up for me because I don't often wear like a lot of really exciting clothing. So just, it's like, I don't know. It's like bright for me. It's like bright. Uh, and the Digby, thank you for the follow too. Voices, yes. So I don't know how many people that just raided do tabletop RPGs like the D&D &D or... Uh, Pathfinder or Vampire the Masquerade or Call of Cthulhu or anything like that. We're we just talking about like if you if you do different voices or if you decide just to play in your normal voice. What, what, with your characters, we're talking a little bit about goblin voice. <laughs> we're legit missing a hundred channel points for the next visit. Oh, did we hit it? Did we hit it? Anyone help out? How? No, it's a hundred percent raised on my side. Someone done it. Thank you. Hype! Okay, so that means we are having a business meeting. Now, normally I would schedule it on Saturday. I can't actually do it on Saturday, but I could potentially do it on Sunday or Monday. So, should we do a poll? Should we do a bit of a poll about whether we want to do an extra stream this week and have it on Sunday? Or if we'd like to do it on just the Monday stream, which is a normal stream for us. How, how would you feel about that? How would you feel? Thank you. <laughs> Let's do a poll, shall we? I'm so sorry. I'm not going to be able to see the, the chat for a minute, but I'll do business. Business day. And it's going to be extra stream Sunday. 
uh, or I'll say take over Monday. Start that poll. There we go. We have a poll. We have a poll. So if you would like to vote when we have our business day, that's our business day. What is a business meeting? So basically, I don't get to do business meetings very often, ever, really. <laughs> and I miss business meetings. So we, we, we dress up in business suits and we do a business meeting. You can bring your agenda. <laughs> your agenda. I bring my agenda. My agenda is sewing normally. Sometimes it's sewing the flesh. Sometimes it's sewing the ruffles. Depends what we're sewing that day. We bring biscuits. We bring discussions. We bring... <laughs> we bring vibes of business. We bring coffee. Um, we kick out people that are going to the wrong meeting. That's not our meeting. Um, uh, we say bad things about Jenny because she can't read chat. No, we don't do that. Uh, we bring up things we want to change and we don't change them. Last week, last year, last meeting, we appointed the chairman, which is if anyone hasn't met chairman, uh, say hi, chairman. Oh, there you go. <laughs> this is chairman. We gave chairman googly eyes as well. That was part of meeting. Uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was part of that was part of business meeting. Basically, we get stuff done because it's business. I voted Sunday because I'll be damned if I'm attending a meeting at midnight on a Monday. <laughs> What's it looking like? It's looking like extra stream Sunday right now. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Hi, chairman. Hi, chairman. I just thought about yeah. I mean, chairman will only judge you. That's all chairman does. Chairman just looks and judges. <laughs> oh. But yeah, that's basically what our business meetings are. We get dressed up for business, we hold up, we hold business, and then, yeah. I'm gonna pop up to the box. Well, look, thank you so much, and good luck with your shopping trip. I hope that it goes well. That's the manager, you're sitting on the chairman. <laughs> no, that's the chairman. They are the chairman. Okay, extra stream Sunday? It will be on Sunday then. I will add it to the schedule. It will add it to schedule. So that, so that people can see it. Sunday it will be. We will still, of course, stream on Monday. It will just be a normal stream. So, do not worry. Monday stream will still be happening. It will just be normal stream. Oh, dear. Uh... We are. Dear. That was very quick. That did take less than two streams. I maybe should have not underestimated everyone. <laughs> Thousand was too low. People have so many save points. God damn it. Uh, I should have known. I should have known that this would happen. Uh, what's the biggest thing I've ever sewn? Like, like the biggest project or physically largest? Well, they might have been the same thing. I think, I think it would have been the same thing actually, which would have been Final Fantasy XIV's Lakshmi. Um, that was, that was physically very wide. The width on that thing was, I think about one and a half meters wide. Um, I, I was over, no, I was over one and a half meters wide because I had to have an attendant with me because the width limits are one and a half meters and I went over it. So I had to have somebody with me at all times. Um, yeah, it was, yeah, I, also they told me that I wasn't allowed to use the normal bathrooms. Yeah, I was I was very wide in that one. Um, Height-wise, normal, but I was just wide. Um, and it was a lot of layers on that one as well. There was a lot of layers. And the material was really intense. Like, even the material was layered. So you might look like one layer, but it was like layers of that. That was a really intense uh, sew job, that one was. Um, I'm really pleased with how it looked. I, there were things I'd change at this point if I was to do it again. Um, the, uh, the thing was that one was I couldn't keep it because it was so big. Uh, so I ended up breaking it down into materials, but I'm still proud of it. Yeah. Oh dear. We don't mess when it comes to business. There is no business mess. She's just so wide. Yeah, it was, it was very, very wide. The, the things I needed to fix with that one was the weight distribution. So much of it went on my left hip and you can kind of see in the photos where that is. Um, because so much of it went on my left hip, I actually ended up with a really large bruise around that area. And 
it, it, it was so painful. It was painful when I was wearing it, but when you're wearing a costume like that, I feel like to an extent you don't think about it too much. You're like, yeah, it hurts, but I'm not really thinking about it too much. It was, it was bad. It almost looked like I'd broken my hip the next day. Uh, it was such a bad bruise. Um, it was like swollen and bruised uh, and it was like right on the hip bone. Um, it was just pretty intense. It was pretty intense. Um, and it was, it was quite funny as well. Uh, of course, I don't have any photos of this and I wouldn't show it even if I did. But um, during that con, uh, I actually, I, ha I had that bruise, but I also got hit um, by another cosplayer by accident, completely by accident. It was, it was, it was, it was just very, very unfortunate. Um, uh, somebody turned around log fast and part of their, I think it was a spear type weapon, it got, caught me in the ribs. Um, and it did hit quite hard, but it was fine. Like they, they, they were okay. Uh, you fell? No, no, I didn't fall. It, it just, it just hit me and I was like, oof. Big oof. And um, at the time, I didn't really think too much of it. It was, it was, it was, uh, it was, it was okay. Um, and they, they, they were like so apologetic. And I was like, oh my god, are you okay? Is your cosplay all right? We were, we were both just there, like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Is everything all right? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> like it, again, it was completely accidental. Like not, not really anything either of us could have done about it. I couldn't get out of the way. They couldn't see very well. It was just a big, big oops. It happens. It does happen with cosplay, unfortunately. Um, but the next day I had this big old bruise here and this massive bruise swollen hip. I looked like I'd been in an accident <laughs> after this cosplay. And I just remember like showing my friend being like, look, look at me. And they were like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was, that was an intense one. I could only wear that for one day. I couldn't wear that the second day because I was so injured. Um, I, w I would have loved to have worn that the Sunday, but I, I couldn't. And then after I was like, I'd have to make so many adjustments to make so that I could wear this safely. And it was just like, no, I can't. It was so heavy. It was like half of my body weight on my hips. And it was very, very heavy. <laughs> ah, <laughs> cosplay combat. It was cosplay combat, except we were both just super apologetic. Like, sorry, 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 sorry. Um, yeah, it happens. It does happen. Uh, I would say I had a really good time at that con, like I had a really, really fun, fun weekend. I think that's probably one of my better experiences with cons. Like, I would say I had a really, really lovely time. I got to see Final Fantasy cosplayers. Uh, I got to do the cosplay competition. I wasn't too ill that weekend either. Like a lot of the times when I go to, to Comic Cons, I get quite sick. But um, because I have migraines and stuff like that. But that was one of the weekends where I planned ahead. I went the day before the con started and I left the day after to minimize how ill I was while I was there. So it, this was a time where I started to, to work around my migraines a little bit more and like generally being ill. And so yeah, I was actually pretty good. That's Comic Con. Comic-Con Comic -Con is, is really fun. I really, really love it. Um, I've never actually really, uh, I've never really been bopped by a cosplayer before. I think that's the only time. Uh, so, it, it, you know, normally with big cosplayers, you can kind of just keep your distance. I think this was when potentially we were queuing or just after we were queuing for a cosplay competition. So we were all quite close together. And that's the only reason why it happened. So it was a complete accident. Everything was fine. Nothing was damaged and nobody... Well, I got a little hurt, but I didn't even realize at the time. Again, like, I feel like when you're in the con, at least for me, there's just so much, like, excitement. I didn't even realize, like, how much my hip, for instance, was hurting until, like, I took the costume off and I was like, oh my god, my hip, my hip. That hurt. But, um, yeah. I still really love the costume, though. Like, I I'm still very proud of it. I still think it looked pretty cool. I just think that I can make better now because it's been a couple years and I've practiced a lot more. Um, so for me, even though I'm very proud of the costume, I'm not gonna wear it again anyway because it's like I would make something better. And I can only take so many costumes with me to a con. So why keep something when I feel like I can make something better, you know? Especially when I've already worn it to a con. It's like, it's had its, it's, had its time. I'll make another one. Like this. And then there are other costumes where it's like, they just don't fit me anymore because either I've gained or lost weight. <laughs> ah, the life. The life of changing size. Because like, I haven't got rid of it yet. I don't know whether I'll probably do this on stream because this one, you know, I, 
I, the thing is, I'm not sure whether to do it on stream or not because I don't want to upset anyone else or for anyone else to think it's really upsetting the process because it's not really upsetting. It's like a positive thing. Um, but I think, I think some people might look at it and be like, no, what are you doing? How could you? No. But um, the Silvari costume that I, I made, that is like my profile picture on Instagram. I need to disassemble that one and uh, take that apart. Uh, I know, you just forget about everything in a con, you do. You just have a good time. You just have a good time. That's it. It's all about fun. Um, yeah, I need to disassemble that one because, oh, and Jean Blank, thank you for the follow. That's very kind of you. Uh, I, I need to disassemble it because I'm not going to wear it anymore. It doesn't fit me. And I doubt that it will ever fit me again. And with that being the case, like, there's really no point in me keeping it around. Um, so I, there are things I'd like to keep from it. But what I'll probably do is... I don't think I have any of them up here. They might still be downstairs. I'll see if I can pawn! Get boy Jelly says it's time to disassemble you, bitch! Um, there are... I'll see if I can find some of them at some point. I don't know where they are, actually. I have frames from the costumes that I've made in the past. Um, oh, I, wish, I wish I knew where they were, because then I could show you them. Heck. Are we sure they're not, like, in the corner? I'm, like, constantly looking behind me, because I'm, like, I'm sure they're in this room. But I don't know where they are. God damn it, me! Um, but yeah, they're frames, and I take the the snippets of what I'm like most proud of, or like you know, get an overall feel of the costume. Uh, I put it in that frame, and then I have like a frame picture of that costume. It's more intricate parts of the design, so I of course still have pictures of the costume, but like I have on my Instagram and stuff like that. But I have like the actual sewing work that I did in the costume framed. Um, so I basically take a part. I think uh, I did a Madoka costume. Uh, not this one. This is a different Madoka. I'd like to do a new one that's much cooler. But I did a Madoka costume uh, like four years ago, five years ago. It was a long time ago now. But um, it was my first costume that I made 100% from scratch. No alterations, just fully made. And so it was a really big step for me to do to do that on quite a big costume. And so I was really, really proud of it, really proud of it. And there was a lot of bits that I was really proud of, but I wanted to disassemble it because it was taking up so much space and it was difficult to move house with. Um, and the bit that I was really, really proud of was the inside of the skirt, because that was the bit that took me the most time. So what I did was I took a big snipping of that inside so that I could get all of the colors that took me so many hours to make. Uh, Cause I made like a galaxy on the inside of the skirt, but entirely made out of ruffles, um, like pleats basically. Uh, and I'd sewn and hand embroidered stars and stuff into it, uh, which I still think is very cool. Uh, I probably do it slightly differently nowadays, but that's what I did. And I took two strips of that, or did I take three? It was two or three strips of that. Uh, and I framed those back to back and I put that in a frame uh, because that was, that was what I think is the bit that I'm most proud of. And it's basically an ombre of ribbons with stars sewn into it that I know exactly what it looks like but to, uh, and what it's from and like what that meant to me. But to anyone else looking at it, it's just a textured art piece that I can hang on my wall. <laughs> yes, uh, that does sound cool. That'd be a sick dress. It was a sick dress. I was really proud of it. I wanted to incorporate the style of, if anyone's seen Madoka Magica, the witches have a completely different art style to the rest of the show, right? And I wanted the inside of Madoka's dress to be really textured and really collaged. So that's what I did. And I was so proud of what I did. Uh, I, I, and I'm still proud of what I managed to do back then. Um, and it took hours and hours of work and laying things out. And I, I was still working out a lot of techniques and like learning a lot at that point. So I'm still really, really proud of it. But I would never wear it again. And I would I would, I would, would definitely change a lot of things. And so because of that, it was just taking up pointless space. So hang it on the wall so it's like they can be proud of. <gasps> Beauty, how's it going? Oh my God, I hope you're having a good day. Welcome. Heck, anyone who doesn't know Beauty, 
Make sure that I get the last part of your name in as well. They are very, very, very talented. And they do a lot, a lot of like body paint and stuff like that. In fact, I think a lot of people already know them. Because we, <laughs> we went and saw them yesterday. Oh, I hope you're having a good day. Oh. We are doing some strips at the moment. So we are... Okay, I have to show you because otherwise... The thing is, I feel like if I don't show the hoop, it makes very little sense what we're doing. <laughs> Let me quickly show you the hoop. We are making a hoop skirt. This is the base of the hoop skirt. So it's like a pear shaped hoop skirt. It's not a hoop skirt that I'll be wearing. So I've made this. It goes very, oh, look at the pins. It goes very, very small at the top and then it becomes like a really big pear at the bottom. And that is for the base of a doppel costume, which is uh, this thing in the corner down here. So I don't know if you could see it. It's like down here, which is a puppet that I'll be wearing above my head. So we're basing it on a hoop skirt to keep it really nice and lightweight. So when it hangs off the frame, it moves a little bit, but also it's really nice and lightweight. We're just making some ruffles that will be going around the outside of the boning right now so that the boning doesn't stand out really intensely and create like a lot of ridges underneath our fabric. Yes. <laughs> oh dear. You don't want me to be with you. You don't want me to be with someone else. How am I supposed to know if you stay with me or not? Lol, is Millhouse catchphrase from The Simpsons? Oh god! I was like, wait! Discord, I don't know what this means! Oh wow, yeah! Sorry to message, but do you have a business email? Final Fantasy Cops, I do technically have a business email, yeah. Um, it's- ah, oh, let me see if I can find it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very disorganized. Um, if you like, I can send it to you in a whisper. I'm sorry, I'm not a very organized person. <laughs> I, I think most organized people would know their business email off the top of my head, but I literally have to switch to it to get to it. <laughs> uh, how do I, there we go. Oh, nope, that's, that's not copied it. That's gonna shout beauty out again, which to be fair, beauty deserves all the shout outs, but um, that's not quite what I wanted to do. There we go. That's my business email. <laughs> Sorry, I should really put it on my YouTube or something, but I'm disorganized. Oh dear. The bag is gonna be amazing. Thank you. Dean, sorry, I had to finish my lunch. Didn't want to get my new laptop dirty, which is very valid. You don't want to get your laptop dirty. Uh, oh goodness. It just been like, listen, let me just, <laughs> let me just show you my business email. But have you considered visiting beauty? <laughs> I just become like your personal PR. It's like, listen, I could give you my business email, but I could also just continue shouting out beauty. Have you seen the new anime TikTok dance? I have not, I'm, I don't have a TikTok. <laughs> I'm sorry. We were talking about this earlier. I had like a little rant, not about TikTok specifically, it was more about Twitter, but that I, I really struggle with short, short, um, short media because the stuff that I want to explain is quite intense and it, it takes a bit more of an explanation. So I never have a way of, um, you know, if putting it in really short things, it's like, no, I have a lot to say. I really want to tell you exactly how I made this. But I, I don't have a TikTok, no. What is the new anime dance? Is it, is, it a, is it like a dance that's turned up on like a seasonal anime or something? I can only assume that, that must be it because Okay, I'm gonna sew these two together, but these aren't actually long enough, so I'm just going to sew these two together for now, but put them to one side, because they are in fact not long enough. And there's not really any point doing anything with these for now. We'd much rather work with the ones we already have. Right, so what we're gonna be doing now is doing our as you, I learned this the other day. I've always called it a gathering stitch, but apparently it can be called a basting stitch. Oh dear. Billy needs to write a book when responding to someone. Yeah, it's like, some, this is the other thing though. It's like somebody will ask me, oh, how did you do this? And they'll want like a really short answer. And I'll be like, let me tell you exactly how I did this so that you yourself can repeat the process. <laughs> and uh, that's probably not what they wanted. Oh. Hey, how's it going? Heck, welcome. I hope you have had a lovely stream. Oh my god. Jeez. Welcome everyone. Let me shout you out. There you go. What were you up to? Overwatch. Oh my god. That's got some cool outfits. Imagine those are Twitter mates. 
I can make it so I write a haiku every time I want to explain something. How's your Overwatch? Let me just, okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna show the hoop again. I know that people are gonna be getting sick of the hoop, but I'm gonna show you the hoop. Thanks. <laughs> so, um, let me show you the hoop. But we'll, do, we'll do it real quick, real quick show the hoop. So people can be like, no more hoop, we're done with hoop. But I will show you the hoop. So, we are making a hoop skirt for the doppel puppet that goes above this costume. And this is kind of where we are at. We have the ridges that are at the moment on show, which need to be covered by ruffles. So we are going through and we are making more of these that will go around each piece. Yeah, it's pear shaped. It's pear shaped hoop. <laughs> oh dear. I love the hoop. I, thank you. I, I am honestly a fan of the hoop myself. It was quite a bit of work, but I, I do like it. I do be liking it. So right now we're just going through and sewing, sewing all these bits. <laughs> yeah, all of the dances. Hopefully, if if we can we can we still do? Yeah, <laughs> come in and be like hacking dance, hacking dance. Oh, we love a good hacking dance. Why not? Why not get a good hacking dance going? Right. So what we're doing here is what I have recently come to know is called a basting stitch. I I've run out of bobbin immediately if, oh, god damn it right <laughs> i feel immediately betrayed there was really no no reason for that <laughs> okay well then we'll refill a bobbin then i suppose i guess we can refill a bobbin instead why not why not refill a bobbin that's fine it's not like i wanted to do any sewing anyway okay oh dear can, what's that our second bobbin betrayal today to be fair, we are doing a lot of straight lines of thread, so it's not completely surprising. There we go. Let's get that on top of there. And... Oh, there we are. Bobbin betrayal! I hopefully, do I still have any... Yeah, 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 I have a... It's, it's, one, of my... <laughs> it's one of my most used emotes. I use this all the time, which is... Ah! The angry bobbin. I love the angry bobbin. It's, it's such a good amount. I know, I know a lot of people might not have a use for an angry bobbin, but I always have a use for an angry bobbin. Always got time for it. Oh dear, so yeah, we're just gonna be refilling this up. And then going again. Is it just me or has the video gone blurry for everyone? Oh, has it? Do I need to wave my hand? Wheel, wheel, wheel. Oh, it could also be because I had everything spinning. <laughs> it could it could also be so the, the machine was spinning everything really, really fast. It could be if you were focusing on the spinning. It could have been like, whoa, whoa, everything's spinning. Although I can't say because I obviously cannot see. It could have it could have just been this wow spinning. Oh, that would be pretty cool. Pretty intense. Uh. Right, let's try this again, shall we? And then, unfortunately, we won't be able to go the whole way down. I can actually move my book now, though, because we have done all the pieces that we can do for today. So how far did we get down? We can sew them in, of course, once they're done, but I, I do need to know how far I got down. How far did I get down? I got down to... 450. So I still have one, two, three, four to go. Three, four to go. That's fine. But I can move my book. I don't need this right now. It's good for me. It might be. Oh no! It's on the camera where the chat is reproduced on the screen. It's blurry too. I'll try relog. Oh no! Heck, that's not good. Yeah, give that a go. It could just be a Twitch thing. Hey, that does happen every now and again. As annoying as it is, nobody wants it, but it does happen. Right, we're just going to be extending this the uh, stitch length and then once again attempting to go up the entire thing making sure that's nice and long so it's nice and easy to gather because this is a really long one to gather i'm actually going to also just trim the short ones at this end otherwise that's going to make that difficult and go and then we just 
go this the whole way along. <laughs> oh, mine's all good. That's good. I'm glad. Chairman, fix stream. Chairman! You have been called. <laughs> oh, wait, is it? No. Chairman! Do it! Do the fix! <gasps> yeah, it's fixed! Good job, Chairman. <laughs> oh, dear. Chairman done a good fix. Oh. Uh, it, it could be that you actually went and fixed something on your end, but now the chairman has got the credit. Which, honestly, that sounds about right. <laughs> you could have done all the work, but the chairman will in fact claim the credit. <laughs> oh, look at your graphics right now. Nice. Yeah. Chair chairman Cam is slowly, slowly working its way into all of my scenes, so that every scene slowly now has a chairman Cam. Why? I don't know. I don't know how this has happened, but it's happening. To make sure that we are keeping those threads nice and at bay. Oh! Oh! Da, 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 da. I did go off the end slightly there, which might might equal an un unruly ruffle in the future. It's not ideal. Nobody wants an unruly ruffle. Not great. That, that is sometimes how it be. Oh dear. You know, I'm actually really chuffed with myself right now. You can probably tell. You know, I've, I've been asked for my business email twice. And every time I get asked for it, I'm like, ah, oh, heck yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad that I have a business email. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, because when I first made it, I was like, there's no reason for me to make this, but somebody suggested that I make it just in case. And just in case somebody asks for it so that I have something to give. And I was like, oh, there's no reason for me to make this. I don't do business, except for business streams. But I'm so glad that I made it. <laughs> uh, it makes me feel very, very, very formal. Oh, dear. also to be fair made that when um like i don't i know quite a few people weren't here when we did it but back in um october we did a collaborative stream with a lot of other streamers where we did uh it was called ren fair and we all did a ren fair st uh, themed stream which was really fun honestly one well, 10 out of 10 would do again really really fun we all made crafts that would fit into a renaissance fair and it, it was a it was a really good fun. It was really good fun. And uh, you know, then we raided one into the other, into the other, into the other, into the other. So basically, anyone that joined would uh, basically feel like they were seeing different stalls at a Renaissance fair. Uh, it was it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. It was a, it was a proper good time. And that was all kind of all coordinated by email. I'm so glad I had a business email for that. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have been like, ah, I'm gonna lose all of my coordination. It's gonna be the move for some embroidery now. Heck yeah. Heck yeah! I am glad! Good! Oh dear! Oh! So. Oh good! Oh good! I feel, I feel very, very formal. And yeah, if you've got some embroidery to do, I can, I can, you got this! I believe! Right, the other thing... Would it be more sensible, do you think? To... It would probably be more sensible, right, to ruffle this now, because if I ruffle this later, I'm going to forget what length it's meant to be. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. This is meant to be two meters. Oh, two meters. Oh, God. Am I going to be able to ruffle this on stream? That's really long. Two meters and 25. That's really long. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay. It's Christmas and Boyd, I couldn't finish it this time in time, so now it's just practice. Oh, that's fair. That, that's fine. Oh no. So here's the thing. This is, I, I can't fit this on screen. This is ridiculous. Yeah, this is like to the other side of my room. Um, so. Uh. How 
I gonna do this? It was nice and easy for the short ones. And it's not like, this is a thing. If I was not on stream, oh, I could do this easy peasy. But <laughs> my stream space is... Okay, actually, I may maybe measure this here. A maximum of 90 centimeters. So maybe I sew all of the sew all of the gathering stitches into it, and then I might have to ruffle them off stream. Because otherwise, I'm gonna get super confused. I'm not gonna get the measurements right, and I need these measurements right. Otherwise, they're not gonna line up, which which do kind of be a problem, I think. Uh, it's it's really long. Uh, sure, blame the stream. I mean, it's not your fault. It's my desk's fault. Oh dear. Okay. 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 I'll I'll sew the gathering stitches into all of them. But I think I think I might need to ruffle these off stream. <laughs> They're too big. Listen, hoop is very difficult to make on stream. I'm trying to do as much as possible, but it's just really big. And and my stream space is not really big. I have a, like, a really good storage space to be fair, but my stream, I think the kind of problem that I have is that there's nowhere I can move this in this room. It's not something I can solve right now, so I, I won't think about it too much on stream. <laughs> if, if, if we move house, I'll try to put the desk in more of an open space, I think, because having it in this, in this kind of room, this is sort of the only place it could go. But I think in future, it would be better if I had it out of, away from the wall. So that it could, I could sew off of the edge of something, and then maybe next to my desk, there I could have a separate table for my laptop, and eventually, hopefully, computer. Um, because having, I think, the laptop on the desk takes away a lot of the space that I could use to, to cut things. Would probably be, I think, probably the better thing to do going forward. But that's something that I can do in the future. I mean, that's that's not as much as it means, like, of course, like gathering this on stream. I think even if, though, to be fair, even if I had all of that, I would need like a floor space set up, I think, to, 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 to video in to get this done. Because uh, I would not have a desk that is two and a half meters wide. Either I need like a cutting table or I need a floor. And I think more likely I would have a floor. So I would need a floor for that. And I don't actually have a floor in this room, so little known fact, there is actually no floor in this room. So that, that I would I would have to do it somewhere else. <laughs> so I don't think this this room is two and a half meters. Ah, uh... oh, going for a walk now. Might catch your stream later. That's fair, secrety. Take care. Look after yourself. And thank you so much for popping by. Hope that you have a lovely walk. I'll just be here sewing very long lines and stitching into these. <laughs> you know, same as usual. Nice long thread so I can find that later and throw that away. Goodbye. And give it a nice long thread. I should really be trimming these shorter threads at the end that I'm sewing it from because otherwise those are gonna get really confusing. I'll just be like 
I, the last thing I want to do is pull one of those instead. I'll start pulling like the wrong thread, get confused, then go back to pull a different thread. Because you don't want to pull the front and the back thread. If you pull both of them, it'll start to not not, but like make it very difficult to continue. So you really just want to do one or the other. There we go. To be fair, doing a shorter stream today gives me more time to to work out what I'm doing wrong in the Final Fantasy speedrun for tomorrow because anyone who was here last week would have saw that I royally failed last week and uh, I basically died but the reason I died was because I had no potions no phoenix down so I couldn't revive any of my characters um, yeah so <laughs> I could do more research into where I can buy more phoenix downs for when I inevitably die over and over and over again so that's a good thing because we'll be doing that tomorrow instead of sewing I mean, I love sewing, and, you know, I, I do want to do that the majority of the time. But it is nice to have a break once a week, truthfully, because it just sort of, I don't know, it forces me to do something else. I know it's a lot of people's not favourite day, but I don't know. I think it's still important to do something else for one day a week. Otherwise, I just get doing the same thing every single day and I'd be like, oh my god. That's not good. VV tomorrow. Yee. No, and hopefully VV won't be dead the entire stream. Because <laughs> that's what happened last time. VV was just dead. All day. Every day. The entire stream. And I could, even when I could revive him, he just died immediately. And I was like, well now he's dead again. And that's that. <laughs> I know the pain. <laughs> I'm dying on the final boss of Nino Kuni and I ran out of res items. Oh, it's the worst. And I'm just there like I'm trying to be speedy, but I can't be speedy because I'm just dead all the time. I'm just dead. Who needs potions or being stands? Anyway, me! I clearly needed them. The thing is, I I'm obviously I'm following a guide. And there's no way I could do it without the guide. But I also have to say that I am not as good as a lot of these other speedrunners. So I might need extra help from potions. <laughs> I remember you bullied Vivi. He kept dying. It's not my fault. I was trying so hard to res him, but he kept dying. This is too short. There's no way that's one of them. That's too short. Uh, it's, not, it's not my fault if he, he keeps spam dying. I can spam res him, but he spam died. So, if that's his fault. I was doing my best to bring him back. Oh dear. Yeah, to be fair, I can kind of see why that's a difficult part though, because your healer is away from the rest of your team, so it's like... The healer's just like, it's just not there. I just... Oh. So when, when BB was just dying over and over again, it's not like I could life them or cure them. It was like, well, I have no one. I have no one. No one who can help me. Go. Good. Okay. You know, I think... Oh wait, no, I can also, actually. <laughs> sorry, Michelle, I might need to come back. I'm sorry. Oh no, there's no way. No, no, no. I think, I think I might need to sew these on off stream. There's no way. That's going to knock Bob right off there. Um, and I don't, as much as I really love showing you as much as possible on stream, not if it damages Bob. I only have Bob. I can't damage Bob. So I think, I think that might, that might have to be it for today. I hope, I hope that's all right with everyone. I know it's a shorter stream, but I had a lovely day. Like, regardless of it being a short stream, we had a lot of lovely people join us as well, which was really, really nice. It was really lovely and really chill. Um, also, it means that we can we can go bother. We can go bother some people that we sometimes can't bother because um, we, we stream at different times. So that's always nice because we're finishing a bit earlier. And I know exactly who I'd like to bother because they bothered us not, not just the other day. So yes, that'd be lovely. Let's do that. Yeah. 
That would make Bob even more angry. Bob would be like, like get out, get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well, thank you everybody for joining. It was very, very kind of you. Oh, yeah. Heck. Heck. Oh. Oh. Give me. Oh, we don't, we don't have the sub raid today. We just have normal raid. But thank you, Sir Robbie. That's okay. Give me two seconds. I need to set up a raid. And you know who we're raiding today? Black Apple. Because Black Apple's raided us a couple times. And Black Apple deserves all the love. They are a cosplayer, but they also do. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of people in here. Oh my god, that's a lot. Oh, oh, thank you, Sir Robbie. My god, there's a lot of you in here. What you all doing? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, so you've thrown me off here. <coughs> um, thank you so much, everyone, for joining. <laughs> I didn't realise there were so many people here. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry it wasn't quite so long of a stream. But um, we're going to be sending some love towards Black Apple. They are another cosplayer. They make some lovely stuff. At the moment, they are doing some, it says robot rock, but with a cross through the heart. And um, it, they're doing some lovely stuff. They they always do lovely stuff. And they're really sweet being cosplayer. So yes. What do you mean? We're just here to cheer you on. <laughs> Jeez. And thank you for the horn. Thank you for reaching the business meeting as well. We'll be doing that on Sunday. Thank you for the cheer right at the end as well, Winged. That's very, very sweet of you. And so yes, yes, they deserve all the love in the world. We'll be sending them lots of love. Please grab a raid, raid call if you would like, and we will send them, send you all towards them. I'll see you all soon. We'll be back tomorrow with some Final Fantasy. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, dear. <laughs>